going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is Muscle, and this is another Two Line Music Cuts Entertainment Report podcast. And today, we have a really special guest in the building. Listen, this man here has been killing sounds from way in the early 2000s till right now. When it comes to one-on-one, that's definitely their specialty. You know we have in the building today? We have Ranger from Rootsman in the building today. What's going on, Big Boss? Yeah, I never had a day, a day, a man. Give thanks. I don't know a long time coming out there now, you know? Yeah, I mean, maximum, maximum, maximum respect for actually coming through the podcast today. Definitely, man. I don't know it, go. Yeah, I mean, definitely. <laughs> when you see somebody like Ranger in the building, you definitely know it's going to be a special one. Because somebody like you, you don't do too many interviews. No, no, no. I might think that, you know? Yeah, yeah. All right, so then on this program here, what we do, we take it from the beginning and bring it right Right up till now, 2021, all right? Yeah. First question is, where did you grow up in Jamaica, and what attracted you to music back then, if it wasn't back then? Well, Jamaica, grew up in a St. Catherine, mm-hmm. and grew up in a Clarendon, mm-hmm. seeing them, them place where me originate from, seeing. Mm-hmm. Music back then, you know what I mean? We never really feature music in a Jamaica. Mm-hmm. When we come to Canada, we yeah. start dealing with music thing. Okay. Yeah, man. Okay, so then when you came to Canada, what was your first interest in music? What was the first thing you remember seeing or hearing or something that piqued your interest in music? Well, back then, you know, we used to, them used to keep like um, barbecue and them something there. And, you know, they mm-hmm. used to keep a thing um, in a Jane and Finch, like at the rec center, they used to have them little thing and the sound they used to string up, you know? And then you used to have them like um, basketball tournament and stuff down the lane. Yes. So Ghetto Kian and them sound, they used to string up and King Agani and I mm-hmm. Fashion and them sound, you know. Mm-hmm. So them sound, we kind of grew up and, and loved the music in a Jane and Finch, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And what year we're talking about here? Them years are in the early, early 90s, you know, like 92, 93 from them time there, you know. Yeah, man. Early, early. Okay, so then you've seen Ghetto Kian, King Agony, all of them stringing up. So then now, you now, what was your first move into actually sound business? What was the first thing you did? All right, the first thing in a sound business, like we said, we was, first thing when it comes to music, from before even sound thing, mm-hmm. is that you, you used to call me Cassette Ranger. Okay. And we used to buy Cassette yeah. every weekend, every day, like just Pay a cassette. Yeah. My bridge them used to just buy a cassette. Sometimes we all a clash on the phone with cassette. Mm-hmm. See, you know, we just a call each other and I say, yo, me just get a brand new silver hawk and this, mm-hmm. brand new bodyguard and this, you know. So that's how we start really love it, the sound clash thing from. We used to listen to all of them clash there, all of them clash something there. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. They said really, really inspire me from, you know. And who was your sound back then? Which sound did you really rate back then? All right. But then, we can't tell you this. Jara, mm-hmm. number one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Don't beat next and then Steramals. Them there are my three favorite sound in the world. Like mm-hmm. from them time the Jara, you can't tell me nothing about Jara sound. Yeah. Or even don't beat mm-hmm. scene car. We just love Jara with the whole anthem them where them have. Don't beat have some rhythm on me just love like, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And then you know like we used to listen to Steramals, you know, Tenasa was one of my favorite singers, you know. Love listening to Demos and them and they, you know what I mean? So, them something there. Yeah. My favorite. Yeah, listen, Stair Mars is my favorite song in the world. I love, 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 love Stair Mars. Yeah. I just like the the gangster roughness about Stair yeah, Mars. I love you know song. what I mean? Demos, a DJ, ah. Burro Bantan, Super Cat, you know what I mean? You know, tennis, call on Yammy. Say, can Yammy bowl out? Sing a lot of songs. <laughs> Why sing a lot? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, man, them something there, you know? So you're collecting the cast of them, as you said, Jaro Downbeat, Stair Mars is your sound them. So then now, where did you start to make your move towards building a sound now? All right. We used to there on my bridge in Father Sound a Connection, a youth named Craig. Mm-hmm. We used to call him Titus, see? So we used to there on him and his father have a system upstairs because we used to live a connection, Fir Grove, what, you know, we live a one dune grass way. Craig lived on the other side and we used to go over him for the house and he was a beat song, a beat song, mm-hmm. see? So from this to now, you know, we there on that every day and that kind of, you know, I bring me in our vibes and music. Then we look a bridge in them down the lane. Uh, rest in peace to a youth named Gary. Mm-hmm. Call him 16. Mm-hmm. See? They must say, oh, they want to build a sound, you know, and yeah. call it Lena DC. Half a base of this sound. Okay. 
We got Jayout too. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know if you know the artist Jayout, but mm-hmm. they say yes. it starts from Jayout, 16, mm-hmm. who was in the around it, Sheldon, Owen, mm-hmm. and um, Tony. You know what I mean? But then I'm trying to Jayout name Big Mac. Okay. Mm-hmm. So he wasn't a DJ this time. He no. was into sound business. Sound thing. Yeah. Seeing Lena DC from them time, then I grown. Them time around like 93. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And then. You don't know them time there. Me and David Boy used to party, too. you know what I mean. So they're on the end of They're on David Boy, you know. David Boy don't have rebel to on them time there. You know, man, I you name Reverend, you know what I mean. Okay. Yeah. Seeing, and then afterward, me and David Boy apart hard from them time there, and you don't know back and forth. The end of them bridging them down the lane. Me and David Boy around at your food, par and you know. The other boy draw me in and I say, yo, rare, rare. Mm-hmm. Rebel to one thing, you know? Rare, rare. Okay, so how long did the Lane Odyssey situation last for? It's not going for a while, you know. See, in the time that they play um, some little barbecue down the lane and, you know, mm-hmm. connection and them thing, you know. Mm-hmm. But you don't know true gear did end up drop out, you know. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, drop out. So everything kind of just, you know, mm-hmm. slow down, you know, the man, them. It kind of just feel hurt over it and, you know. But the sound did go on still like for a little while, you know, because mm. Jayout, them did kind of have it and, you know. And were you actually cutting dubs at this time here or this was strictly 45? No, man, I'm not cutting them like one and two cocoa dub, you know. Yeah. Yeah, man, you know. Mostly 45. It was mm. not no whole heap of dub thing, you know. Mm-hmm. So like a young sound come up in the year and thing, you know what I mean? And what was your role on Lane Odyssey at this time? Here? Well, them times, I mean, just did it as a youth, just a, a support thing and, you know, mm-hmm. don't know investment and them something like, you know? Okay, so you weren't emceeing or no, anything at this time? No, I'm not emceeing yet, yeah. right, nothing, you know? <laughs> Seeing, them times, I'm just a learn the thing, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. With record and them thing there, and we used to go buy records, and this, you know? Them something there, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and then Davy Boy now from Rebel Tone. So it was him and Reverend that was on Rebel Tone at this time. Yeah, them now. time they him and Reverend. Mm-hmm. They were on Rebel Tone them time there, you know? Mm-hmm. So then they brought you in around what year was this now? This around like 94. 94. 94, 95. Yeah, around them time there. Was Nubi on Re- Rebel Tone at this time here? No, not at that time when me they were on Rebel Tone, you know? Mm-hmm. See, Nubi did a play a song named Root Supreme. Seen, but Nubi was around Rebel Tone before, mm-hmm. you know, but I think them time they left and mm-hmm. gone to Root Supreme Sound. Mm-hmm. Seen, and Root Supreme Sound, me know Nubi are played them time there, yeah. you know what I mean? We don't know if you might tell you a different story, but them time there, Root mm-hmm. Supreme, you know what I mean? So them time them start spending all the money for Rebel Tone Sound, mm-hmm. start practicing, uh, David Basement, my basement, we start practice, I uh, play music, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. David, you know? Yeah, man, them time there. Yeah. That's so where it start from, you know? Okay, Rebel Tone. So you, Davy, and Reverend is on Rebel Tone and stuff. And what year did you say this was? It's around, like, what's it? Around 94, 95. 94, 95. Okay, before we even get any further into that, how did you get your name Ranger in the first place? <laughs> mm-hmm. I want to tell you, say, you know, when people say Ranger, Ranger, mm-hmm. it's the first time I got taught this mm-hmm. in a real life. It's mm-hmm. my real name. <laughs> what do you mean? My real name. Yeah. It's my real name. <laughs> <laughs> you never hear it. It's my real name. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if other people think it's a nickname, but it's yeah. my actual real name. Okay, so it was just one of those names where I guess it's your last name where they said, you know, like when you're in school, a lot of times you just have a unique name where it's like a ranger or something and it sounds so wicked, you just say, that's your name. I eat that. Yeah. From day one. Mm-hmm. Ranger. Everybody used to call me Ranger or Liquor Roots. Liquor Roots, man. See, because them time I'm a bigger brother name, Roots, man. So, most of the man in my year, I never know my name. Them just say, mm-hmm. yo, Liquor Roots, man. Mm-hmm. Ooh, like my friend, them around me now, we go to school with me, know me as Ranger. Yeah. You know what I mean? And your older brother was named Roots, man. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to keep this in mind, because I clearly see how this is going to come <laughs> up later. All right, cool. So then now you're on Rebel Tone, you guys are doing your stuff now. What were some of your first movements mm-hmm. on Rebel Tone? No, we just did a play some like a, like we said, basement something, man, you know, mm-hmm. like a barbecue thing. That's it. Nothing big. Like, nobody don't know with them time there, you know, mm-hmm. like we said. You know what I mean? End up that 
them time they know one day that player we go down um, Father Roots mm-hmm. place, them uh, Roots Supreme. Mm-hmm. I mean, I knew we down there have like a fun clash. Yeah. <laughs> Rebel Tone versus Roots Supreme. Yes. Yeah. We I knew we have like a fun clash, and you don't know it go. Mm-hmm. Them time me and David have spent money for a rebel to and so on. Mm-hmm. And it's like, we don't know, and have a little fun clash, and you don't know the thing. We know we see that movie and say, yo, Father Roots now nah, spend the money now. Nah. Mm-hmm. Rebel told me I go back to now, you know. <laughs> <laughs> see? <laughs> <laughs> and I saw him come back a rebel tone because he always there a rebel tone from day one but he just straight got to root supreme because mm-hmm. you don't know him and my family like that mm-hmm. you know what I mean and it was all so that now at this time here now it's all four of you Ranger, Newbie Davy Boy and Reverend was, about to take on the road not even say four of you there's more you know because mm-hmm. them time even Davy Boy a brother around the thing son yeah. and you have a little youth named even Bradley like you know the whole of we like you know I see him here right? you know what I mean mm-hmm. Mm. And just say, where was Rebel Tone originally from? Jane and Finch or Jane and Shepard? Until they said Jane and... All right, from where my history with Rebel Tone, mm-hmm. if truth will be told, mm-hmm. is a son from Jamaica, Clarendon. His reverend family them son. You understand? So me know the history about Rebel Tone. Mm-hmm. Reverend family son. You understand? And it's like reverend did bring up some cassette with some tune. Mm-hmm. Seen, and then him just decides, say, I'm going to run them from plate. And I saw Rebel Tone start a Canada from the issue of me, you know, yeah. from what them tell me. You understand? Mm-hmm. Reverend and David tell me so. So, me, you know, Rebel Tone start yeah. a Canada. I don't know about the rest of the story I'm going to tell. You understand? That me, you know. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. So, this so is Rebel Tone start from, from what me, you know, Reverend. Yeah. Reverend was the one who really. Start Rebel Tone in Canada. Yeah. Got you 100% there. All right. So then now you guys have a team. Newbies back on the song. What were what were some of the movements at this time? Where were you guys playing? Were you guys clashing, juggling? Yeah, what was the movement time the Rebel then? Rebel Tone, I'm just juggling so man. Because Nubi talented. Nubi can juggle. Mm-hmm. You understand? So them time, they know Nubi, you know, I'm a player like we say, like a building party them, like a era barbecue. Mm-hmm. So juggle everywhere. Basement, you name it. Mm-hmm. Rebel Tone, I shell it. Cause Rebel Tone was like a juggling sound. You know what I mean? Rebel Tone was not a clash sound. Them mm-hmm. time, they just like a juggling sound. I get a whole heap of like a date in a year and them something. They like a thing for do with school. Mm-hmm. Rebel Tone, you understand? Know yeah, man. What were one of the biggest dates you remember getting with a bigger sound that time where you guys were excited to actually play with this sound that time? I want to tell you, you know, the biggest something we happened to Rebel Tone back then when the first time we ever left like the era, mm-hmm. we went to um, Ottawa. Okay. Go play against Immigration Sound. Them time the um, DJ Wiz was the one who even first bring me out of the era and make we go play mm-hmm. in Ottawa. Mm-hmm. And go down there and go play with DJ Wiz. Them time I think with uh, Immigration was the sound Wiz was playing at that time. And him carry away out of the ear and I say, yo, you know, mm-hmm. do road you would cause them time now, you know. Rebel tone I go on with that thing and we just say, yo, you know, you can't take on the juggling out of town and rare area and we couldn't mm-hmm. see out of town. Yeah man, it was a big thing for we at that time, you know. Okay, and how was that dancer? Yeah man, that dancer didn't mad man. Remember nobody shell that dancer. Mm-hmm. Yeah man. Uh, let me tell you say nobody can juggle. Yeah. Matter who no wanna think about that you there. Eh? Talented juggle, mix speech, everything, mm-hmm. but, you know what I mean? And at this time, what was your role on Rebel Tone at this time here now? Me just there, and the man who just uh, spend money, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Them time, they me just, a man just uh, invest in a Rebel Tone. Mm-hmm. Them time, they just uh, invest, a cut double plate, and you know? You know what I mean? Just want to see the sound grow. Mm-hmm. We just love it like that, you know what I mean? So this time here, you're still not selecting, you're still not emceeing or anything on the show? No, just have uh, invest some money and I mm-hmm. spend money and you know I don't know this is my thing there mm-hmm. Any time there. and how long was that Reb, did that Rebel Tone situation last for um, up to till like um, late 96 96 or going to 97 mm-hmm. uh, they said it, you know really end up cut off you know then we start build with thing we're not even done with Rebel Tone because after that now we start Little vibes they go on with me and Nubi and David I say, yo, we're gonna build to build the next sound, you know? We're gonna have rebel tone as a juggling sound and mm-hmm. 
we're going to build a sound as a war sound. And mm-hmm. through the music, I'm a little roots man. We just say, yo, yo I'm going to name my sound roots man. See? And what year is this roots man was born now? This, it's all right. We say we, we start cut dub like around 96 them time for roots man. We're not even put roots man sound on the road yet. We just a cut mm-hmm. dubs like, you know. So when David decides we're going to start cut some like one and two coco dub and, you know, start. Build up roots, man, so on the box and mm-hmm. ray, ray, ray. Because me don't say I'm going to build my own thing. And David, my bridge, you know, my pirate. So, you know, he, he used to give me support, parable to one him, say I do the same thing with roots, man, so on. Okay. You know what I mean? Cut the first dub plate for roots, man, so on. He give me the first 45 of them for roots, man, so on. He take him further 45 of them and give mm-hmm. me. And I say, yo, we're gonna, you know, mm-hmm. we're going to have the two sound them and ray, 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 and push them on road. Mm-hmm. You know? So, okay. One second before we even go down that road, there, did you actually clash any time on Rebel Tone Sound while you were there? No. Mm-hmm. No, I never clash. No clash. Okay, so then when you went to Roots, man, now, at this time here was when you turned into a selector MC and stuff, or you're still just spending just on this Just spending on Roots, man, so we just yeah. build up with double plate, car. we sell the sales, so we have a billy sound as a war sound, and me and David decided we're going to try to find every foundation artist before we put the sound on the road. Mm-hmm. So we just cut plate, dub plate, fly guard Jamaica, cut dub plate like there's no tomorrow, carry mm-hmm. up dub plate, this, that. You know what I mean? We just say we have Billy sound mm-hmm. and go turn it into a killing machine like Jar and them sound. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? We just have build dub, a pile up the dub them, a pile up them. Mm-hmm. And this, them same time, they, they're on Rebel Tone, see them, we have a para, a Promote Rebel Tone, see him while we are build up Rootsman dub box, build up Rootsman dub box, you mm. know what I mean? What were some of your earlier dubs that you had cut on Rootsman? First dub them? Yeah. I want to tell you, Reggae Raja, <laughs> Silver Cat, yeah. Big Murph, see, I would name Singing Zara, mm-hmm. never forget them, you would yeah. <laughs> see, Everton Blender. Post dub them there. So what you're saying, if anybody knows, this is definitely the Clarendon link that you're working off yeah, right here. Yeah, because we have a bridging from Clarendon. One bridging, what we know, mm-hmm. my brother used to live here. Mm-hmm. Rest in peace, Roach. Mm-hmm. See, mm-hmm. same brother named Reggae Raja. So I say, yo, my brother is Jamaica. He named mm-hmm. Reggae Raja. See, he sing a song with Ricky General, Just Another Day Living in the West. See, so I say, yeah. Mm-hmm. Then I say, yeah, mom, I can get, get, get you some dub and link you up with Reggae Raja and Raja give you some tune and, you know what I mean? And from that, me and Raja start link now. I tell me, say, I have link with Blender and mm-hmm. I have link with Coco Tea and Silver Cat and them and this. So I say, all right, you know. Mm-hmm. Start work with him start buy some dub for you and them something there, you know. Mm-hmm. Just in peace, Reggae Raja, because I'm drop out now too, you know, so. All right, Peter, Reggie Raja. Crazy. Right here. So you're, you guys are building your dub. As I said, clearly, I know from you said Big Merv and those people there, mm. I knew 1,000%. Yeah, That's a clarinet. Like 1,000%. <laughs> you know what I mean? Bodyguard and those sounds would play Big Merv and those yeah, guys that kill people. But DJ and them, trust me, man. I'm back in ideas, man. Big yeah. Merv, Silver Cat. Mm-hmm. Them you, eh? Mm-hmm. Bad artists. Yeah. Yeah, man. For sure. They were right. my first set of dub. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? After them... Monday, first Canadian dub that I cut was seeing Peter Rankin and um, Major Sun, you know what I mean, a youth named Spider Cat, they call him Fire Lion, mm-hmm. I, I, I Lion or Fire Lion, I think he mean change him name to, you know, mm-hmm. yeah man. That's big there, okay, so the dubs are cut in 96, everything is moving, so what was the first time Roots Man actually popped out and either juggled the dance or got into a clash? All right, the first juggling dance, not even say juggling dance. Mm-hmm. If a big up, Mega from Total Eclipse. Mm-hmm. Seen? He was the first person who put Rootsman sound on like a barbecue. Mm-hmm. Building party. Seen? Because me and Mega Bridge, you know, we had him at Roll too. And Eclipse sound was one of the big sound from Jane and Finch too, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And man, they lock every building party and them something there from Shoreham to Jifood to Palisade. Mm-hmm. Seen? So you don't know, start par with him, the round him and the next sound him, prestige. Mm-hmm. See? And everywhere we go, you don't know, me had a little youth, I tag along with yeah. them and you know. So I got start, make me do some early warm on him, something there, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Barbecue I go on, you know. I did it spin too little, chewing for him until rare, rare. Mm-hmm. So now, kind of show me got say, I have dub. See? And you must say, yeah. 
So man, you must say, for making my cassette and rare, mm-hmm. rare, rare. But them time, I you know, you know, Roots man still not ready for your you know, yeah. Me even kind of them times, I'm shy to like, we are cut the Dublin, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? But me not ready for clash yet. And who was on Roots man at this time here now? Them time there, eh, basically, I just me and Dave boy. Yeah. At this time here, and yeah. you're just getting into Me, selecting. Me, yeah, bridge in Kerchief. Mm-hmm. Seeing them time that we up are and you know. We don't know me link with every man that Jane and Finch about like me and David boy really and then Kerchief, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's like the sound start get a little one and two barbecue them time mm-hmm. there, you know what I mean? And like a building party, but not major like, you know, we don't reach no club yet nor mm-hmm. nothing, you know what I mean? And what year is this you're saying here now that you it's guys now started reach to? Up in a like 97 them time you know, you know, like 97 I go up in a 98. You okay, know? so one to two years you guys cutting the dubs quietly, mm-hmm. you know what I mean, arming up yourself and stuff. Yeah. So mega total eclipse that was mega Mike Brown and um, yeah, man, Mike Black Bro- Rose Black and Rose those guys, yeah, yeah man. wicked MC, wicked yeah, wicked yeah. MC, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Back then, okay, so you guys are doing your stuff now. So then mm-hmm. after you linking with Mega, what was the next move for Roots Man at this time here now? Next move, no. I start I meet up with a youth from my year. I mean, I didn't live in the same year a few much years, but we never talk like we just mm-hmm. see each other. One day, MKR broke down with a Finch and 400. Mm-hmm. And I see MKR broke down and gave him a drop. Because I said, I live a connection to him. I said, I always see you. Mm-hmm. So I gave him a drop now. I start raising him. I said, play a sound. See? So I said, I'm a sound. I'm glamour tone. See? Ah, ew. So. I told him about him someone and I said, Glamour told him play. That you tell me to talk about him name, English. Yes. English, you know. I said, him play and him bridging, Mad Spider and him, I was bridging him, Mad Spider and mm-hmm. Randy and them, I play a Glamour tone someone and Ray, 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 and you know. Me and him start, me and him start link no reason, no him start invite me and play, so come play some tune and you know, all the vibes. So mm-hmm. from there, so now, me and English link up now, Mad Spider link up. And basically, from this so now, it was like a training day for me. You know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. the youth, they may tell you, the most talented youth I've ever met in my life. Two of them, actually, English and Spider, yeah, bad, when it comes to bad. music. Mm-hmm. So, them now start show me how to even make some speech, show me how to organize my song, them, put me tune them together. You know what I mean? Man, them start show me the whole ropes, you know? We did it all, start to do some phone clash a week time now, and yeah. we're clash with one another, and you know, just to the phone and I listen back with self and learn from a mistake. Mm-hmm. So every time now, you know, basically, like, man, they link me and I say, yo, come on, practice, practice, and them time they may cut up, and them and them say, yo, you, you know, say, you're soon ready for your road, you know, mm-hmm. ray, 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 ray. And me, I say, yeah, mm-hmm. and man, I say, just come practice, man, tighten up your speech and start making your speech, and ray, ray, ray. Seen, and so we start English and Spider train me every day. You now for talk and mm-hmm. or for mix and them time I never even too like the mixing. You must say yo, just go and talk. You have a good MC voice, you mm-hmm. know, and you're smart with your speech. Then we just need to tighten them up and you know ease off of the screaming off yeah. my mic. And <laughs> <laughs> them so what MCs did you really like that time where you were trying to say, okay, I like your style. Let me try. It. In their style and put it into my own type Them of thing. Them time that trooper man, mm-hmm. trooper man, is it trooper, mm-hmm. trooper, and Johnny from Bodyguard and Nuts from Super D was my like really really favorite MC. Them with me, with a car like, what I say it? Um, them basically inspire me to become yeah. a, a MC. Mm-hmm. Reason why I like Trooper, the aggression and Trooper, well creative when it comes to cutting dub. Mm-hmm. Johnny was one of the man and nuts, are the only two MC me ever see, where clash and win clash without a cuss a bad word or tell a man about them mother or mm-hmm. use any profanity. That's why I always practice when I tell a man about them mother or this mm-hmm. and that, I go the, the route there mm-hmm. when I clash. If you notice, say, listen, the clash them with Rootsman over the years. Yeah. You hardly hear me tell a man about them mother. So I try to adapt that something there from Johnny Gard, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And Nuts from Super D. You know what I mean? Nuts was a very intelligent MC, Johnny the same, you know what I mean? Yeah, man. They're doing their thing wow. So even this time, was Glamatone based in Jane and Finch this time too? Yeah, man. Glamatone, English liver Jane and Finch. Um, Father Glamatone, um, 
Western Road, mm -hmm. seeing the boss who own the sound. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And I was I remember Spider did, did somewhere down the road, but English mm -hmm. basically live a Jane and Finch. English was a Jane and Finch road. I didn't know that at the first time. Yeah. Man. You know, and the first time when I make English play, I keep a dance with Rebel Tone and Glamour Tone. You know? yeah. <laughs> Big clash, you know, in a Jane and Finch. You know? <laughs> and years English live a Jane and Finch. I never like mm -hmm. clash in a Jane and Finch or play a Jane and Finch. You know? mm -hmm. I don't know English play any of them dance until I keep one dance with Rebel Tone and, and Glamour Tone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And I'm mad at something that. <laughs> How did that work out? Who who won or what was the I want to tell you, you know, say. You know, I like a glamour to one, give rebel to one, I listen to the night, you know. See, them time the man draw out the panic, the man, so sit me in the man, and I tell you, because rebel to one, I go on good, you know. Mm -hmm. And nobody end up go back, go play back a baby sham, them time the mm -hmm. baby sham, hot is true, and if I first say, hold on, like, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And the man go back and play about the song star, and you see, when. I'm a tone, tone on the panic them. <laughs> I'll win then I play a shootout. <laughs> <laughs> Good old Gina Finch. That means she play for yeah. place, man. I'm a tone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, bad son. R.I.P. Father Glamour, you don't For know. sure, for sure, you understand. Okay, so then now you're linking with English and he's basically coaching you yeah. to really say, okay, you know what? I like your style. Try this, do this. Coaching, coaching, coaching. Mm -hmm. So then when was the next time you actually got back on the road now? A next dance or a next semi-cash or something where you're back on the road? All now? right, they're back on the road now. And like we say, you know, which dance would it go? We start, um, in time that I could say, um, one place out of, no, before that, mm -hmm. like we say, we now got some little something with Mega. Mm -hmm. Mega start keep some something near my um, dub plate market. Yes. Seen? Him start keep some stuff near my dub plate market. So, you don't know me, so go there with him and mm -hmm. early warm up and them something for dub plate market. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And then, one night, me decide to, mm -hmm. I'm going to go in a double plate market. <laughs> uh, I say, yo, English, I say, I pressure me. I say, you're ready for it, man. You're ready yeah. for it. Wait, 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 wait. What year was this year? This around, um, I think, 90, 99. Yeah. 99 or 98 or 99, I think. Mm -hmm. No, See, before that, I think we did play at one. We used to play at Charms Nightclub. Mm -hmm. To, you know, up uh, in a Rex Steel part there, you know. Mm -hmm. But double plate market was. The thing were really, you know, mm -hmm. start off Rootsman Sound. You know what I mean? Them time there, the first time we go in that clash was with, um, I think it was White Boy. Them time the White Boy I play a song named Stereomatic. Yes. Stereomatic. Mm -hmm. White Boy, Wiz. Mm -hmm. And I think them time the Nitro just started, and Nitro was supposed to be in that clash. Mm -hmm. I think, yeah, that was the first one. With we white boy. No. That was the second one. The yeah. first one was mm -hmm. with Rootsman and Miller Vibes. Okay. Another chain of so. Yes. Mm -hmm. Rootsman and Miller Vibes. Mm -hmm. Cause that's how we get with name from you know, that dance there. Was Rootsman and Miller Vibes. And mm -hmm. we give Miller Vibes some beat that night. Yes. Was this at the same place by Jane and Jane and Wilson, Planet Africa. Africa? Yes. Because to me, that was the first time I heard, and I think it might have been that same dance there too, you know. Mm -hmm. Rootsman versus Mellow Vibes. That was the first dance where I heard Rootsman. I said, oh, okay. Yeah, man. Yeah. That dance there mm -hmm. was a turning point for Rootsman's song and mm -hmm. make people start know we know in the clash world. That mm -hmm. dance there. So we win the dance there. Mm -hmm. Then we're supposed to defend the title. Because, mm -hmm. like we said, we're going to do like a series of double plate market. See? Defend the thing now against um, Stereomatic. Yeah. Yeah. End up beat Stereomatic too. See? Mm -hmm. Then the next one now we're supposed to clash um, Delta Supreme. I don't know if you remember them, the sound there, oh, Irish Reggie sound there, when you saw Eglinton mm -hmm. scene, oh, Rasta you with them, you know? You know, beat them too, you know what I mean? And who are you playing with on Rootsman at this time here now? Them time there was me and David Boy brother, son, mm -hmm. son of Mix mm -hmm. scene, and me at that scene. So them time there was like basically me and son, and, you know? Mm -hmm. Then afterward, who else? 
who else did they run with them time there? Yeah, it was me and son them time there. Mm -hmm. Basically. You know what I mean? Start them clash there, you know? Yeah. Them set clash the whole win. Me and son. <laughs> okay. Remember Kelly, me and son yeah. first. <laughs> the early, <laughs> yeah, early, early, early clashes. Early, early clash them, yeah. me and son. Mm -hmm. Me and son in a guy all of them. I mean, you know? Mm -hmm. So guy all of them clash there. And we start growing now and make a start carry it all over the place now and we end up have a clash of owner, Bridging, total eclipse. <laughs> okay. <laughs> See, because the man went, no, I bring me in right now. Yeah. Him put himself in at the something now, and we end up beat Mega. We beat Mega now, and start getting some respect at them time there. Like we said, but then, you know, mm -hmm. when we beat Mela, Mela Vibes, it was a big thing for you, because them time the Mela Vibes are big sound. Yes. Big, big sound full of scare them, and ray, 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 and you know? Mm hmm. Then we go kill the great total eclipse now, you know what I mean? And it's like from we beat Mega now, mm -hmm. we bridge in Mega say, more dance here you now and you start put upon like everything you now and mm -hmm. you know. I mean, I have to give thanks to Mega, cause really and truly, Mega from Total Eclipse, mm -hmm. him like really make the people know Rootsman sound. So anyway, Mega then I were right now, anyway, I'm stand up in Canada. Mm -hmm. I have to give him enough, enough, enough respect. Mm -hmm. If I name for him, trust me, there won't be no roots man sound right now in the clash world. I tell you, him opening the doors them for you and start bringing up places and give you opportunity for clash sounds and you know what I mean? Yeah, man. So I have to say respect Omega. So at this time, you and San are taking on the road. You won about three, four clashes back to back mm -hmm. to back. All right. What was the next move now? Because you, it's almost like the student beat the master, which is totally Eclipse was really bringing you on the road, showing you what's going on until you guys had to face each other. Mm -hmm. And then you said, okay, you overcame. So then now you beat the master. Mm -hmm. What was the next move for you right now then? Next move was the same do play at market, the man starts saying, I'm going to put you up against some bigger sound now. Mm -hmm. Seeing, so I say, Yo, I'm a sound that come up from Jamaica named Jack Creation. Seeing, so I say, We have a next bad sound from Scarborough named Desert Storm and a sound from Jungle named Black Reaction. Seeing, so mm -hmm. I say, All right, I'm going to put you in a do play at market with them giant here, you know? Mm -hmm. So I must say, all right, you know, make sure you can manage it, you know, and wait, 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 because you don't know Jack Creation full of sizzle and Capeton and them something there, and wait, 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 and you know. Mm -hmm. So we say, all right, go there and we do good the night, man, do mm -hmm. good. Was this one on one or it was a, how many songs no, were it's in? four songs Desert Storm, Black Reaction, Jack Creation, because the night there, I never forget that night. There was like mm -hmm. Silasia birthday weekend or something like that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And the night they twin, I won black star reaction in mm -hmm. kind of girl on me too. Cause <laughs> me I tell him say yo, me and him have a plan for rush. The <laughs> next two so you know him rush, very really, really, me rush Jack creation and him yeah. rush desert star and <laughs> black switch for me to blow <laughs> feet. I say yo, Silasia birthday weekend and some man has preach war. <laughs> I never forget that answer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, at them time, I know him, make a move from Planet Africa to a place named Upper Level, Upper Dufferin. Dufferin yes. and, um, and Lawrence? Yeah, before you reach Lawrence. Yes. Before you reach Lawrence. In between Wilson and Lawrence there. Yes. Off of Dufferin. Yeah, man, when you pass, um, you're yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. a man, a um, place named Upper Level. On your left hand side, if you're yes. going towards Lawrence. If you're going yes. towards Lawrence. Yeah, mm -hmm. man. And the they will go hard, you know. Mm -hmm. And then they get all respect from Kujo, them time, you know, Kujo say, youth, mm -hmm. you remind me of yourself. Mm -hmm. When me the young, you remind me of myself. When me the young, you know, me love mm -hmm. that, like a fiery day, and, you know, mm -hmm. that braveness with your car. Me are the youngest son in there, me are rushing, the whole like big yeah. son. Them. <laughs> See? <laughs> yeah, man, and Kujo say, yeah, youth, mm -hmm. youth, yeah, you can take on the road, you know. Mm -hmm. Time to start, you know, do my thing and. Like, we make a name, you know, we make a buzz. Yeah. Make a buzz. We have a bridge in name, Philbert, Cassette Philbert. Yes. See, Pick up Philbert. Then you know, when we did the Monday, did you know? The Monday sell Cassette in the car. We used to buy Cassette right there, Monday, weekend time, and anyway. So, everywhere Roots Man sound there, man, you know? Mm -hmm. So, we meet Philbert. And Philbert starts say to me, say, yo, you know a brother named Ron Nelson. See him? 
and next virgin name Fretina tell me about it but mm-hmm. then I pre them time there. Mm-hmm. At them time I know I start people start link me now and I say, yo, the more roots man clash. Yeah. You know? I mean yeah, roots man are going good. So I say, yo, my saw them sniper. So I didn't know Sniper as a studio because mm-hmm. I go up there and cut the play, but I never know say Sniper did have a sound system really mm-hmm. and truly. Like, I just know say it was a sound studio. Mm-hmm. So I want to say, yo, you know, I clash the sound there, you know. Come from Kitchener. So I say, anyway, then we go for it, you know. Seen. So I want to say, yo, the man, I want to keep a dance with you. And way, way, way. So I keep a dance up in one place in a finish first. Mm-hmm. Um, a fierce banquet hall. A fierce that that was half a Milvan? Milvan and yes, yes, yes. A wee sniper. I remember my phonic sound the night, but we don't say a wee a sniper. Mm-hmm. The night the wee sniper sound beaten. <laughs> See? Mm-hmm. Beat sniper to sickness. Till all sniper all fire when I'm selected the night, they think <laughs> some fall out the go yeah. So sniper say, yeah, what then? We crash my ear place. We don't have to go clash in my place. They must say, yo, kitchen. Mm-hmm. And our Cambridge and them, our kitchen or Cambridge, one of them places. Eh. Go there, so. And we get sniper another beat now again. Okay. See, the next dance again, no, it may not say my keeper. Next dance, sniper, rootsman, desert storm scene. Both we get them time the desert storm, I think they late for the dance too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know? And we are sniper, war it out and. Way, 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 way. End up that desert storm finally come and dance now and start kick up a storm scene. End up that now people them start say, yo, desert storm and sniper for in another dance. Yeah. <laughs> desert storm and roots man for, for play and sniper for drop out. This ain't a sniper yard. This is in his yard. Yes, kitchen. Huh? We never forget the dance there. And the man starts say, yo. Him now and drop out, you know. End up mm-hmm. that the dance hall. End up mash up the man, him go song. Beat up something in the dance and mash up the dance and you know. Next dance you now them say Hamilton them are gonna with it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so this is now the fourth time that you're clashing yeah, sniper. sniper four and time. you kill them three times in a row already. Three, three times. Mm-hmm. Kill them when you would name Keta plate mm-hmm. and you would name Biscuit a plate scene. So now next dance you now with them in a Hamilton sniper roots man and <laughs> King King Atani. Yes. See same thing again now. We are give them some beat now again. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So from that now, cause them time of Philbert I follow we know everywhere we are going man. And mm-hmm. where we go Philbert. So Philbert I say, yo, you need to go in a little tournament thing, you know. Mm-hmm. Way, 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 way. I think them time when we just meet you too. Mm-hmm. And I think even you, you know, mentioned about the, if I remember, I think even you didn't mention it to me too, the fully loaded thing. Yeah, because that time, it was, this is where, that was our big stage mm-hmm. at that time there. Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I say, yo, if we go in at it, feel great, mm-hmm. and Bridget and Freddy, I say, you know, if we go in at something there. Eh? Go in at the first one, mm-hmm. and we as the youngest son, we, we didn't end up losing the dance as a son, but the dance there, we should not jump out. What year was this fully loaded? I think that one was in, come up to like 2003 or 2004. Okay. We did reach up to 2003 you know, or 2004. Who else was in that, that fully loaded there? I think it was we, Desert Storm, Studio Mix, mm-hmm. Couple Sound. Mm-hmm. Couple sounded in at that, that, that fully loaded, but I think Studio Mix they win the night one. It was a night for advance and end you know, up that Studio Mix. Really, Cause the dance it was a big controversy dance. Cause this? Roots Man was the only sound to get the most forward and get eliminated. And the man they might kneel, start fling all buckle and lick all yes, fabo. Yes, this was in the same affairs banquet hall over, yes. over at yes. Milvan. Yes, yeah, man. yes, big something man. Mm-hmm. Like the man they man kill all fabo now mm-hmm. and. One bag of something, man, him a fling all buckle. I have to go up on the stage and beg all the people him to stop fling buckle, all kind of something. I tell him, say, oh, you know, mm-hmm. another dance of forward in, man, all right. Mm-hmm. So, we we'll do good in another dance, you know, Ron Nielsen, I say, yo, you know, we we'll do great. Mm-hmm. And we see the biasness and Ray Ray, oh, you drop out and Ray Ray, and I'm going to 
there's another fully loaded coming up and ask me for one guy night. Mm-hmm. We said, no problem, we take it. Mm-hmm. Some time I know we, who did not a night one then? Radication, military. <laughs> 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 um, <laughs> couple saw another that dance. We saw the name um, night um oh a night a night a night star and a night star team. It might have been night star yes night with star, heartless black lion them mm-hmm. from um, London. Mm-hmm. But all I can remember, we know say we did win the night. Eh? Yeah, we did end up beat radication and uh, military. Cause we are military and radication. Yes. I think it go down to so the. To the area, we end up win night on an advance mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. to to the last night. Yeah. And this is 04 or 05 now? This is uh, 04, I think. 04, man. Can we mm-hmm. go back in? Uh, 05, I think uh, 05. Uh, them time, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. If you remember, it was 04. One of them was 03 or 04. Mm-hmm. We uh, it end up advance. Can we go up against um, Super Fresh? Yes. And end up we are super fresh going to the finals and we end up come second place. Super mm-hmm. fresh did beat we mm-hmm. in that one. Mm-hmm. You know, we did really good in that one. So And I think this was actually the first time you guys were in zone one. I think this mm-hmm. is the first time that fully loaded kept in zone one, the first night and yeah. one and two. Yeah, that was zone one. Mm-hmm. So from this you know with man them say we do good. Mm-hmm. Next year we say yo well, go back in night car. This time now, I say, you know, for going on night one and night two, if you go advance, you know, because no people start requests for Rootsman for being night now. And mm-hmm. we end up go back in night now and win. We end up, end up win. I think, yeah, it was 2005 win or 2000. It was 2000 because you guys won back to back. So this is 06. 06. Is the first one that you guys actually won the whole yeah, thing was 06. 06 and 07, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And who was on Rootsman at this time here now when you won the 06 fully loaded? 06. Um, I think it was me. You have a youth named Killer. Mm-hmm. No, I think it was Killer or James, Jim Bond. Mm-hmm. At them time, the Jim Bond started to play full sound. Mm-hmm. Seeing? I think it was Jim Bond. No, at them time, it was me and English, actually. The first one who we win was me and English. Mm-hmm. Yes, English and me win that one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So English officially had joined Rebel Tone? Um, no, uh, Rootsman. joined Rootsman? Yeah, English started playing Rootsman sound. Okay. At the time, they know, because, you know, that. I mean, I've, I mean, I'd play him a little song in migraine at that time. Mm. Uh, and got them time, him left Clamatone and start doing thing with migraine. Mm-hmm. And then after it, me and him apart, you know, we just end up that him and say, yo, you know, we're a link now. We always apart, as I come to your house and practice. And me and him have that chemistry there, like every day we are practice, practice. Mm-hmm. So I say, yo, you know, go for that one, yeah, you know what I mean? So I must say, yo, we have a talent and we have a, we can win it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And this was like a big one too. So you must say, yo, the fully loaded yeah, was if you win this fully loaded, you get for the world clash. Okay. So who do you remember who was in this fully loaded here now? This one was Black Reaction. Mm-hmm. Super fresh. Mm-hmm. Pison Dad from Florida. Okay. Seeing it was a whole heap of big sound. Um, I think Vertex from Calgary. Did in this one like well, well almost all well of the big song them King Klepto I think King Klepto was on this no I don't remember if King Klepto was on this night mm-hmm. but, but Dan Rankin night. yeah Dan Rankin was in it because we and Dan Rankin end up going to the finals okay yeah and this is passing the black reactions the yeah. super freshes and uh, these are the yeah. big bosses at this yeah, time man, here them time the black reaction drop out and wait wait Rebel Tone the another one here too Rebel Tone like all well, of the top song them the wall of the top zone. Okay, so then this is my question before we even get to the end. Is this the first time you actually had to face Nubi in a clash? No, me and Nubi clashed before, you know, when, with Rootsman Zone, you know. Me and Nubi clash, I think, two times. Me and Nubi clash at Charms. Mm-hmm. And me and Nubi clash at Jane and Shepherd, you know, and basement. Mm-hmm. You understand? <laughs> with a sound name. Them time they bridging them with play our sound now, they have a sound name, Black Hawk. Yes. So Rootsman, Rebel Tone and Black Hawk. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You will never get that cassette there because yeah. we will never release that cassette. <laughs> <laughs> you have to ask him, do I interview him and ask him about that answer? <laughs> See? 
Okay, and this was the first time that you guys now but, but a big stage, yeah, yeah, like big stage where you no know, basement something. This mm-hmm. no like you know when Rootsman sounds mm-hmm. have a name out there, no one, you know. Mm-hmm. And you pass Rebel Tone this night here. Yeah, man, we pass Rebel Tone, man. Because Rebel remember, Tone drop out. He had won World Clash already because he won in two thousand two. So he's coming back with a uh, as. If this is four, five, six, he's done had his title three, four years ago. Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. Nobody did in don't win World Clash already, like from all along, man. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Uh, and nobody make we start push Rootsman sound to another level. You know? mm-hmm. uh, nobody kind of motivate we, because you know, we have something to prove to nobody. You understand? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, you know what I mean? That's mm-hmm. why we really go in a fully loaded and say we have to take on him something, you know? Yeah. Man? You know what I mean? And that night it came down to you. This will be the 06. This came down to you and Dan Rankin. And yeah. if I remember good, Chin from Irish yeah, and Chin, Chin was hosting host, that. Yes, night. Chin was the, the, the classic. Uh, them time, I don't know if Chin had managed Paisen Dart at that time. I think them and Paisen Dart did have some. There was time. something. Yeah, and mm-hmm. you know, that Paisen Dart did. He had that fully loaded. Mm-hmm. And uh, beat Paisen Dart, beat everybody. And we had Dan Rankin go down in the finals. Now. Mm-hmm. We, you know, win against Dan Rankin. Mm hmm. Yeah, man. Okay, and you said this is 06, so then now after you won, this is supposed to lead you to World Clash. Yeah. At this time. What had happened? Well, if a controversy, you know. Yeah. Because them times that we are run never depend on good vibes. And, you know what I mean? We hear some little rumors say that no matter what roots, man, will never go to World Clash because way, 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 way. And there's a big controversy that. The man them all keep all a lick of meeting with the sound man them and decide who them are gonna make God world clashing on. I think them end up did send Desert Storm at that time. Even though you had technically won yeah. the road to world clash. We never end up go. Mm-hmm. We did not go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, it was a little controversy thing and them time they like we say we are run you know, see eye to eye them mm-hmm. times there and really like the man them are say, yo, you are not make a gun away, you know. You know what I mean? And then like Man, he had some decision either. Mm-hmm. Roots, man, super fresh, or King, it was King Turbo, or Desert Storm, or Black Reaction, or super fresh. I forgot a world clash, and mm-hmm. basically it come down to Desert Storm, them pick for, for God at that, that time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And this was for the Canada World Clash? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think it was for the Canada. Yeah, I think this one was for the Canada one. Yeah. Okay. So then now you guys didn't go. Did you guys clash again that year in 06 before you guys got back to fully loaded 07? Yeah, man. I think we did clash a couple of times. We clashed in um, Vancouver mm-hmm. against Infamous. Bad song. Yeah, we did clash against Infamous at that time there. Mm-hmm. And um, which other clash we did do? We did do a next clash, I think. Mm-hmm. I remember if it was that year. But we know we did clash in for most of them time there mm-hmm. in, in Vancouver. Yeah, you know I mean? And this led you back to 2007 World Clash. 2007 fully, fully loaded. loaded yeah. Okay, so then now I guess you and Ron, you guys seen eye to eye, whatever the case is, no. at this time to get you we back in. I used to see eye to eye. We were the defending champion. You understand? And then we end up that, you know, so we have a defend with title. We make decision. So we have a different with title and stuff. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And um, no, you know what? We did clash that year there. Mm-hmm. After we win the fully loaded, we did clash Black Reaction too. We had two clash that year. We did clash Black Reaction in a thing named Fitness, I think. Fitness, if I remember. It was, I think, the same year after we win fully loaded, we clash Reaction. In fitness. That was at Jungle um, of um, Ocean, Ocean Bay. Ocean Bay. Yes. Ocean this, was, and, yeah. mm-hmm. this was Rootsman, Black Reaction, and, and Infamous. Infamous. Yes. 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 So. What happened in that dance here? I want to tell you, you know, say, the dance eh? big controversy in the dance. Eh? Mm-hmm. Cause even the other day, Ron put up something, I never really like it, but big up yourself, see me around. You know what I mean? The dance eh? me I tell you, say, the three sound are going good. Mm-hmm. Reaction are going good because you know say a reaction backyard that. Mm-hmm. Reaction are shelly place. We are the only sound we ever come there and get so much forward in a jungle area like that. Because you know a black reaction place. Black yeah. reaction can't lose a clash around this sound. <laughs> <See? laughs> but we are the only sound that come close. Mm-hmm. Reaction are going good. We are going good. Infamous are going good. You know, we win two rounds. We get all rubber round. Okay. See? 
another round with not even me a reaction win. Uh, infamous to me win that round. Mm-hmm. And the people them never give infamous the, the vote. Them give reaction the vote. Mm-hmm. And infamous kinda if I remember good in the youth from infamous get vexed and I say, him see how the dance set up. Cause I say, yo, I win the round there and the people them not give me there's no way upon earth me can win this dance. Mm-hmm. And him forfeit. Him come out of the dance and say, yo, I see what I go on people. Mm-hmm. Very anyway, I can't win that answer. So no matter what, I'm, like I said, the man shell him around. Not even me and reaction get too much forward like that, man. I think you were playing the bag of cartel at that time. Yeah, them time the infamous uh, it, man. Cartel like there's no tomorrow. Mm-hmm. When you talk about cartel, it come like an infamous one cartel them time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> See? And I tell you, so the man a shell the place, shell the place. And when voting time come, mm-hmm. no vote for the man. And the man get the biggest forward for the whole juggling round. Reaction in up in the round there. Mm-hmm. And the youth say, I come out of the dance. Mm-hmm. I see what I go on people. I left it to roots man and reaction and I go and worry it out because I don't go give me no winnings. Because so. mm-hmm. if you lose a round like that, you're going to say, it doesn't even make no sense to continue. Because you were shelling down the place. Shelling, shelling, shelling the place just to come loose. Still. Yeah, man. Like, like the youth, you know him, you know, see the thing and see how it's set up. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You know we are ready now. We say we're not here. We're not back down. Mm-hmm. We are reaction up. Go at it and you know that we end up end up go tune for tune and then between a tune for tune. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but because um, you guys had won the fully loaded that mm-hmm. they were in, so then now you beat Black Reaction in that fully loaded. They came back and beat you in fitness. Yeah. Okay. Now go into O seven. Seven. Fully yeah. was Black Reaction back in that. Um, Fully loaded again? No, I'm not too sure if reaction was in that. I can't tell you who the night. Mm-hmm. Some of the sound them, I should say. Mm-hmm. Inf- um, not infamous. Silver bullet, silver, um, silver star from Jamaica, I think. Yes. Was in that. Yes, I forgot about that. So. Tech Nine from New York was in that. Mm-hmm. Um, with Said sound name, King, King Anama City mm-hmm. from Virgin Island was in that. Star Kid. Mm-hmm. Rebel Tone, um, No Envy, mm-hmm. the inner them one, the two, No Envy, Copper Sound, who else was in it too? Vertex, mm-hmm. yeah, Vertex, seeing, yeah, them sound they did in it, you know. I think I miss out somebody else. Because you have to remember, this time fully loaded were like 10, 12 songs in the game. Yeah. So then but I could understand. Like the, the final night, no, if we, right, you know, the big night. Mm hmm. Cause you know the regular night them have like holy person, but like the yeah. final who didn't make it go mm-hmm. final and them time they were the defending champion. Mm-hmm. But yeah, like me say, was no envy, King Anama City, Vertex, Silver Star, Tech Nine. But there's somebody I think there's somebody else. I'm not sure if there's somebody else. Mm-hmm. I was just that's it. Mm-hmm. Rebel Tone yeah. with another one that too. Yeah, Rebel Tone. Okay, so then this is like the fourth time. Mm-hmm. You're bucking up Rebel Tone. But this is the second time on the big stage. Yeah. All right. Was it more a thing you guys go in to get Rebel Tone out or you are past looking at Rebel Tone no, at this time here? When we got clashing, we don't think about one individual. Mm-hmm. Me never focus on one sound alone. From me, go there, me just try to go there for win. Mm-hmm. That we decide any clash where you go, it's all about winning. We don't think about saying, yo, yeah, we want to get rid of that sound here. Ray, 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 ray. Mm-hmm. See? If you want to get rid of Sonya, try play with bass and sneak through and I make like <laughs> them Sonya, Costa Sonya. You understand? Mm-hmm. We always used to do our strategy was big up the Sonya and we drop out. Yeah. <laughs> because we need for them people for cheer for we. So we all drop out and you see all mm-hmm. the man, a Costa Sonya drop out, see them, yeah. and I say, pussy, you're for dead and rare, rare, rare. And so we always say, yo, yo, I mind over matter. Mm-hmm. Big up the people, then we drop out. <laughs> See, because we need for them to vote and mm-hmm. for them cheering. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> all when you know, say, them, not, them deserve to drop out. They tell a liar, say, yo, mm-hmm. you know, say, you're you shouldn't <laughs> drop out. <laughs> <laughs> Just to get, get the vote from them. Yeah. You understand? Crazy. And at this time here, did the Roots Man chant? A period, or this is after these times? No, man, them time the Rootsman chant. Mm-hmm. Remember, yeah. I said Rootsman chant stand from when we clash. 
Men of vibes. From there is where the chant yes, started. Yes, it's tough. A bridge in kerchief, a him start the roots man chant. <laughs> See, you know, when we are giving Mellow vibes some beat, and the man starts a roots man. And I saw that chant there. So every time you now we are clash, mm-hmm. you hear the chant a little bit louder and louder and louder. You hear more people are gravitate to it now. Mm-hmm. And I said, roots man. When we start that fully loaded now. Mm-hmm. Roots man walk in. Mm-hmm. If we even reach past stage, just start hearing people I say, Roots man, till it's, it gets out enough now and popular now that all when Roots man in and none I clash them, mm-hmm. we just go my dance and stand up. And people just I say, Roots man. <laughs> See? See? Yeah. Yeah, man. So the thing does, you know, like, big up courage for that one. I'm I the Roots man chant. But yeah. he, listen, that chant there, it was like almost like a sounds worse nightmare. When you start hearing that chant, yeah, this man. is when the dance, it's basically you, you might as well basically so, give up. Yeah, man, someone get nervous when they hear that something they come out, man. You see, all when the last round come now and mm-hmm. we start turning on the fire now and people start hearing that. It's like every soul, man, I say, I hate that. <laughs> no more. No more of this. Yeah. Yeah, man, give up, man, give up. That's it. When the people, them start to root, man, they're morning and worse if we play last. Mm-hmm. There's no coming back for you <laughs> when you Crazy. hear the chart. It turn out. So what happened in the 07 um, fully loaded here? Now, who did it come down to and what happened? All right. The dance, you know, it ended up coming down to we and Tech 9. Seeing? Pretty Rick was wrong at that yes, time? Yes, Pretty Ricky. R.I.P. R- 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 to Pretty. Yes, yeah, man. man. Rest in peace, Pretty mm-hmm. Ricky. But this thing from New York. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Remember me tell you. Come down to we and Tech 9 now and you understand? Rootsman are going good for the whole night. Mm-hmm. I'm not lie. Almost every round, Rootsman win. But the t- last round, if you want to talk truth, I'm going to talk the truth. Mm-hmm. We never do so great. Okay. The last round, Tech 9 shell the last round. But there was no tune for tune or nothing. They must say voting and win. Cause it always sometimes comes down to tune for tune and we end up winning. Some people never like that. Yeah. Promoters <laughs> seeing. So them say vote. Mm-hmm. So this was a voting thing. You know? Them say based on listening to the whole of the rounds them, where you hear the sound play. Mm-hmm. You gotta vote after that. Mm-hmm. Remember in a rootsman win probably like three rounds straight. No dispute about it. Like we said, the last round of play mm-hmm. wasn't as strong as Tech Nine. Seeing so when the people them vote now and say Rootsman win, cause based on this thing with Steeny said, them time Steeny was the host. Mm-hmm. I must say, yo, you know, up on, you, you hear the whole of the re, 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 re. Man, so people are saying, yo, Tech Nine should have win. Because Tech Nine go on wicked the last round. Mm-hmm. Seeing? And some people are saying, Rootsman win, because Rootsman basically shell on the whole dance the whole night. You know me already, I don't go argue. A win is a win, whether a man like it or not, or me take the win. I don't care. Any idea, I so collect, collect the winning mm-hmm. money prize. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? Yeah, man. So, father take the kind of vex with me over that still. Because mm-hmm. I said, boy, the last round there, we shell a place and a weed. If we should have win the vote there and way, way, way. I mean, I say, where the way people them say? Mm-hmm. Me not go argue about that. Uh, way, way, way. See? And him kind of vex with me. He kind of they have me up for that. We not lie. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? End up that him keep all the dance with me in New York. You know what I mean? Tech Nine and Natural Affairs. So it was... Tech Nine versus Rootsman and Natural Affairs. Yeah, Natural Affairs from England. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What happened in that dance here? The dance here, we have beat Tech Nine to sickness, man. Beat. Right now, me have beg Father Tech to release the audio there. Yeah. People in the dance know what happened that night. Mm-hmm. Angie Digital can tell you what happened that night. The man named from Adiz. Jamie from Young Ark can even tell you. Mm-hmm. All of them was there to see what happened to Tech Nine that night. Mm-hmm. And the only dance where Yai water drop out of me yai in a New York City like when I say I vex I shell on the wall around and go on and when voting time come mm-hmm. I don't know the MC go make a mistake and say something and yes. he must say something wrong like the voting wrong or he never do whatever like he must say I lose a root and then he switch it mm-hmm. see him? then all of a sudden me hear the man say roots man eliminated and the people they must say wow are you stupid Oh, Rootsman for eliminated and a Rootsman win the whole around them. See? So we all say, redo the vote. The people must say to the man, say, redo it. And Father take come out and say, don't redo, no vote. See? 
and for all I take her, I say, yo, no vote, no redo, no nothing, because, like me say, I have me up from the fully loaded sitting, you know, mm-hmm. seeing, and take her, I say, yo, no vote, no redo, really, and the people, them are cussing, and cuss. Andrew did it, I look for me, and say, yeah, we are going to do, we are going to walk out of the dance, you know, if we don't nah, make roots man win the round, you know. Yeah. And the whole dance walk out. When I say whole dance walk out, man, take nine. See? We did a whoop, say natural face, I walk out, I dance too. This man, like an idiot, go stay back with take nine and take nine, ten friend them, <laughs> and go and do tune to tune. <laughs> <laughs> the next day, where we look, where we look. Because mm-hmm. we don't go out of my hotel room. Mm-hmm. Next day, the man, man said, Take nine and kill, kill natural fears. <laughs> We're nearly dead with laugh. We said, What kind of idiot man this? How can you see the whole dance walk out and you go stay back with the man and him friend them mm-hmm. and go and go play a tune for tune? Come on, come on, sense. The yeah. whole neutral dance walk out. You should have walked out too. Yeah, leave yeah, it man. alone. So from that now, you know, mm-hmm. that dance it hurt me. Yeah. Because the dance there was a dance where. Like we said, we had a great and we had shell down the place with cut all tarantula, this up tech nine and mm-hmm. them tiny we all vice chronics and remember me tell you, biggest set of fire with them man. Yeah. Young uh, Jamie can tell you. See? And what year what years it was this harm um, clash here? Which year was it? I don't even remember which year was it, you know. Mm-hmm. But I try to remember the year. I don't remember the year. Mm-hmm. But I forgot looking at my phone and see the year or something, you know what I mean? But it was after, you know? It was a, it was a, it was a nice clash in New York, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? We never forget that clash. The only clash where, where I can't say I win the dance, yeah? And don't get the winning to the dance, yeah. you know? Enough, w- enough, some, some people, as a cuss, I say, Rootsman only bad in them here, you know? But they don't understand the politics mm-hmm. when you leave this country, you know? See, you win all that dance mm-hmm. and you still don't get the winnings, you know. Yeah. That some some people feel for understand, say, yo, you see that business, yeah? Just like when we see enough sound come here and win dance and them still not get it because of the whole biasness. Mm-hmm. But this dance wasn't a biased thing where the crowd biased against you. The promoter was father tech. That's yeah. why that dance hurt me. Yeah. And father tech. <laughs> when the dance done, you know, like father tech make a, a, a comment, you know, and say, this is basically payback for what you did to me in fully load me. You hear the comment on that man, Brett, you know. And I say everything good. Yeah. We just hold it and say, yeah, what? The audio will speak for itself. The man say, you will never hear that audio released. <laughs> See? Yeah. I say everything good. I say, no problem, brother. So this was you guys' first time in New York? No, this was not first. The first time in New York we play um, Back to Basic. Back to what dance was that there then? Huh? Who was on that one? Was we Super Goal, Camouflage, mm-hmm. and I think, who was supposed to be there too? Killer Mary. Mm-hmm. I think it was, yeah, Super Goal, Camouflage, Rootsman, and Killer Mary. Yeah, man. That was the first dance, hardcore. Mm-hmm. Something with them, you know, it end up turning into a clash, yeah. you know, and shell it, yeah, shell it. Who did it come down to? Come down to we and Super Goal, mm-hmm. camouflage, end up run out of dance and play and get a yeah. big forward and say, Me gone, <laughs> <laughs> run out of dance, see it, mm-hmm. and say, Nah, play no more. And then mm-hmm. we and Super Goal start shoot it out and shell it. Mm-hmm. Shell it, shell it, shell it, you know. And at this time here, who's playing Rootsman and is traveling with Rootsman at this time here? Them time, they want me to go. No, them time there. I mean, uh, you name him Killer. R.I.P. to Killer. Mm-hmm. We used to play Rootsman sound. Mm-hmm. See? Mm-hmm. Drop out from cancer. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Me and Killer go there and represent the sound and do really good. Yeah. You know what I mean? Very, very good. We end up that we do so good now. Them link we back for your next thing. Them Garrison Flex over there. Okay. Yeah. And this was in New York? New York, yeah. Brooklyn or Queens? I think it was Brooklyn. Okay. Brooklyn. Yeah. Who was on this one here now? Yeah. So the Garrison Flex was, um, I think, Spectrum, Rootsman, Earth Roller, LP. Mm-hmm. I think somebody else was there, you know. Was it Yared? What I mean was a Spectrum, Rootsman, mm-hmm. LP, Earth Roller. Yeah. Okay. These are the big, big songs yeah, in New York. Man, big songs. Yeah. I go bujo for bujo. 
you know, pinay man in there, all of us start go bujo for bujo, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And how, how was Rootsman doing in the New York type of vibe at this time, being the Canadian sound? One time the Rootsman, I make a name, man, and enough respect we have over Rootsman because the people, them, I give away respect because of the rhythm, them. But we cut. Like, when we reach New York, everybody at talk about rhythm. Mm-hmm. And one dub specifically yeah. was a Harry Tadler dub. Like, me shock when we reach a New York, I mean, I say, one of the not to say cheapest dub in my mm-hmm. box, but one of the dub when we won't even think say mm-hmm. is a big dub. Yeah. That was the people them favorite dub. Like everywhere we go in a New York, mm-hmm. them say, yo, you can't let you in a job that read him here. You can't let you in a play the Harry Tadler. Mm-hmm. But I'm not top read him. See? Okay, you know what? Let's get into that. I'm gonna make a mental note where we are right now. Let's talk about the rhythm there. I spoke to Polly mm-hmm. last week. All yeah. right. What he said was, yes, you bust that rhythm. But he's saying yes, you bust it locally, but he bust it internationally. That don't make no sense when I tell you say. Yeah. Okay. Tell me. How can you bust that rhythm internationally when you're not even playing that rhythm when you're on clean clip to sound? Mm-hmm. You weren't even playing that rhythm. Mm-hmm. When me I play them rhythm there. Polly used to cuss me and I tell me, say, yo, where you go with them boring rhythm there? Let me hear that rhythm there. When me say me travel the world, me can't tell you the place I'm going to go. Mm-hmm. See? And this is the first time you go hear me say them something. Because mm-hmm. I'm going to brag about places I'm going to go. I'm going to Germany. Mm-hmm. Them want to hear that rhythm there. I go Italy. Mm-hmm. Them want to hear that rhythm there. I go Portugal. Them want to hear that rhythm there. I go Amsterdam. Them want to hear that rhythm there. Not, oh, not to mention... You have three different places in Germany. Can I go to Germany three different times? Mm-hmm. You have Berlin where we go. You have Frankfurt where we go. And you have Dusseldorf. Mm-hmm. And when we go to them city there three different times, the most request rhythm is that rhythm. When we go to New York, mm-hmm. most request rhythm. We go to Guyana, most request rhythm. We go so many places in Canada. Mm-hmm. When we say me tour the whole of Canada, that rhythm. Mm-hmm. Is the biggest rhythm in Rootsman box. So how can you make a speech and say you bust that rhythm worldwide when me I play the rhythm from day one mm-hmm. and me I play it all over the world? And I don't have to say it, I have video proof, I have audio proof. Because a lot of people mm-hmm. talk, mm-hmm. but they don't have no proof to back it up. Mm-hmm. Because that argument has come up in a like a WhatsApp group. I mean have to put the video them in the group just a quiet poly. After mm-hmm. that, Polly say, yo, you love come with your fox to me. I say, yo, I don't need to live my life and tell a lie. Mm-hmm. The f- proof is there because you see, when you have the audio them and the video, you understand? Remember, you know, most sound you listen to, you know, your favorite sound was audio you hear, you hear mm-hmm. them from. For them sure. not have to travel in the world or nothing. You see, the audio, what, what, this is why we not beat Canadian sound. Mm-hmm. We did not have any audio out there. Mm-hmm. No matter how much dance you play in Canada, if the audio don't go out there in the world, nobody knows about you or knows about the work that you do in Canada. Mm-hmm. So you see, the audio them where we are playing from fully loaded come right up. The world are listening to them audio and I saw the world fall in love with the rhythm and my roots, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So a man can't come tell us that them bust the rhythm out there in the world when we're in the world you go and play it. Yeah. We play the rhythm in the world and people see we a dance and I tell we say you cannot leave unless you drop this rhythm. How can you say you bust a rhythm? Mm-hmm. Come on, brother. You don't need to lie about that. You like the rhythm and you know that you pirate the rhythm from Rootsman because that rhythm, like I said, when me used to play that rhythm, Polly cost me about that rhythm. I say, man, go with them boring rhythm, there, brother. Yeah, go with them boring rhythm, there, man. See? Mm-hmm. You can't bother with them like a blue, 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 rubber dub rhythm there. I mean, if you see, the whole of them rhythm there were roots, man, been playing over the years. Mm-hmm. I hate Mr. Pally come and take up now. You understand? I'm not vexed with him. Mm-hmm. I just feel proud for no say, yeah, what? At least the sound them can look up to me as a role model mm-hmm. or as a youth to set the trend for them. Mm-hmm. You understand? But worldwide people are going to look at you and laugh. This is not like a WhatsApp group where you're bridging them, you know. You're going to say, you busted rhythm. Like, well, come on. I'm going to ask anybody out there in the world. Mm-hmm. The first thing they're going to tell you is, Ruth, it's Linda P. They can't tell you. Yeah. When anybody asks Linda P. about that rhythm, they say, Linda say, oh, Ruth's my rhythm? 
I say read him, them call it read him Roots Man, read him. They don't even call it read him by real name. They don't mm. say Roots Man, read him. What was the first song you actually voiced and read him there? The Michael Prophet. That was the first one. And what put it in your mind? Say, so, you know what? Let's put a juggling on this rhythm here. All right. Misa you would ask, eh, like my bridge name, Randy English, them can't tell you. Say, Misa mm-hmm. boy, we, we a play some version of my car and me just a DJ song on it. Mm-hmm. Like, I saw me cut my dub them. Me is not a man who get up and just I try to fit something on it. Mm-hmm. When you go into my car, I have rhythms, on top of rhythm, CDs, where we just play them. And we just DJ a Bonte song. Mm. And I say, yo, you know, say the Bonte can't fit the rhythm. I DJ a Cabra song or a Capleton song. I mean, I say it can't fit the rhythm. I know. I saw mm. me pre my dub them. I'm not like these sound man just get up and just cut any or any dub. I have to meds it first. You understand? Before me even vice the song. Mm-hmm. If me can DJ it, that means the artist can DJ it. You understand? It makes 100% sense. I saw me cut my dub and I saw me sit down and pre and we say, yo, that luck can go up and read him. Cause I love the bass line when the bass line start roll. Sis like you hang up on the rhythm ya. See? After I cut the Michael Prophet, I said next uh, artist I cut Luciana. Yeah. Luciana becomes the biggest anthem we start that rhythm there. Any clash when we go or any way we go in the world and juggle it. Luciana Ari Tadla. Mm-hmm. People can't wait for hear them two songs there. As it Luci kick off, everybody said it's like it's like, <laughs> like a jar. You understand? Me and mommy tell her. Crazy. That rhythm there. Okay. We still got to get into your rhythm section, but I want to go through a couple more, a couple more clashes here. Mm-hmm. So then now you guys were in the Garrison, yeah. Garrison, what was it called? Garrison Flex. Garrison Flex. And how did you guys do in that dance? We do good, man. Mm-hmm. It was like a nice, it, could, it was not clashing. It was like a mm-hmm. most like a dub feature thing. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? All like big sound them and, you know, it was a pleasure, you know? Big up to like LP and Earth Rule and you know, Spectrum and them and mm-hmm. they bring with them and make we go and juggle and you know, give the people them some entertainment, you know, feature some rhythm and feature some dub. You know, a lot of people they shock with Roots man because at that time they we used to cut a lot of budget, so people never know say Roots and because I'm a youth, I get up and go play the whole of my dub them or brag about what I have. Mm-hmm. You understand? Me like for just surprise the people them like you will never hear me go out there and a brag and say me have a most of this and most of that. Mm-hmm. When you hear roots man, trust me, I go hear element of surprise. So when we we go bujo for bujo them time and a lot of people listen to the audience and say, Oh we mm-hmm. never know so much bujo roots man have like, you know? So it was, a, it, was a, it was a great look, you know what I mean? Crazy, because I remember another, since we're on the New York path here, another big dance that was in New York with even Andrew Digital mm-hmm. was Global Cup Clash. Yeah, Global Cup Clash now, Andrew Digital. That was the first time we get an award for being one of the newest upcoming sound. We'll never forget that night there, you know? Mm-hmm. We didn't even realize that our oh, Rootsman Sound was getting so big. Mm-hmm. You understand? We end up getting awards that night. Andrew Digital gave us awards for being one of the baddest upcoming sound and internationally and rare, rare, rare. Mm-hmm. See? The dance, eh? Global Clash, we never do so good. I can't tell you. <laughs> why, that was my why, first time. Why was it? Tell me. Hmm? Tell. To me, I guess we read the dance wrong. Mm-hmm. And them time there, like me say, we start get bigger and bigger, but... We never reached that. Me no know. Like that night there, we just never have the feeling upon the stage. Like you know, it wasn't my best performance. Put it that way. Then. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? We go up on the dance. So we are represent. It was we Black Cat, Wally Pa Big Sound, yeah. King of these, King of these, Stereo Ray, 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 Sonic, Stereo Sonic. Yeah. Um, my youth them from Japan. Uh, mm-hmm. Yard beat. Yard beat. Seeing, it wasn't my best performance mm-hmm. that night there. But that's how you go, you know, you learn and you grow and you move on, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You know, it, was one of, it wasn't one of my best dance or best performance, you know what I mean? And that's how you go, you know? Mm-hmm. Because I think that same, because you guys, it was you and Yadbeat that dropped out first yeah. this time. And remember, you're hot at home this time doing all mm-hmm. your things. So it was just like, freak, man. Came all the way to New York. You even said we drove through a uh, snowstorm. Snowstorm and yeah. something there. Yeah, man. Yes. So it was a rough night that night there. Trust mm-hmm. me. Yeah. yeah I mean? And that same year, was that the same year you guys went to Rhythm Clash? Um, we went to, yeah, that was the next. I think it was the same year. You know? That was 2010. Mm-hmm. We go to um, Rhythm Clash. Mm-hmm. That was one of the next dance, apart from Tech 9 dance. Where 
We hurt me. Mm-hmm. Cause the dance said we shell it and got eliminated. The dance have to stop for at least nearly five minutes when Rootsman got eliminated. Cause mm-hmm. people them are cuss and I say Rootsman should not got eliminated. Mm-hmm. The defending champion should have got eliminated. And it was City Lock. If you watch about that video, Rootsman shelly dance. Second round, destroyed. Mm-hmm. Forward after forward, forward and you know them something they go like voting thing go and you know what I mean? No matter if it call them time they like two or three sound of a jump out one time. Seeing? So uh, people them did have a difficult time who feel eliminated. Mm-hmm. And them time they, I don't know. City Lock was the defending champion and them team make a decision not to jump out City Lock. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So end up that Rootsman got jumped out. And I think, again, this was first elimination, you guys had left, yeah. right? Okay, so then it's like Fred, man. Mm-hmm. Again. Again. World Clash. No, not go- World Clash. Global, Global Clash. Clash. Yeah. First gone. gone. Rhythm. First, first gone. gone and it's like Fred. God, that, it's not like, say, that dance there. With, and I like Global Clash, we know, so we didn't do so good. Mm-hmm. That dance there, we are Shelly dance from left to right. Rhythm after rhythm, we have mm-hmm. a crowd in a frenzy. Mm-hmm. If watch, when you watch back that video, like me said, them video they up on YouTube, so you can watch a video and see for yourself. So that's mm-hmm. what I mean, as I tell people, say, don't listen when you hear say a sound drop out already, but you think same flop or him not do good. You understand? Mm-hmm. Some man with we want to cuss you and say, oh, you go, you left Canada and go pop down and re re. But they don't see what happened in the dance and see mm-hmm. the impact and the video and the forward and them don't know what go on behind the scene. You mm-hmm. understand? Because the whole heap of politics, the sound couldn't eliminate themselves because them, a few them dance <laughs> and them are the defending champion and they look bad for them. Them keep the dance, them I get eliminated first round mm-hmm. in a them yard too, a matter of fact. Mm-hmm. So, you know what I mean? It end up make we get more date Yeah. Because it was a good thing. Because people, promoter end up I say, yo, Rootsman should not got eliminated and Rootsman a bad sound and you know, make we get more date in Germany. Okay. That's more where you ended up Europe. with the with the two or three dates yeah, that you were talking yeah, about. Yeah man, we get whole heap of date now, man. We get we get whole heap of date, man, in Germany. Mm-hmm. We end up all go up on a, a sound, we get a date. Um was it Sound Valley? Some sound anniversary. Mm-hmm. We end up go, we end up all meet Gappy Ranks the first time and you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Them something there, so it was nice. We yeah. end up go back to Germany and do like a, a tour, like we did a, a European tour. We end up that we went to Portugal, Italy. So sometimes when you lose a dance, it work out good because your performance we do. Like me tell you, like uh, look what happened mm-hmm. to even Mystic and my boy um Dynamic. Yeah. Mystic are the world class champion, but the performance we dynamic put on. Mm-hmm. The amount of bookings where him get off of losing that world clash mm-hmm. is amazing. So, rhythm clash was just like that for Roots, man. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? We end up lose, got eliminated. I wouldn't even say lose, got eliminated. Mm-hmm. But based on what the people them see, and see the performance, and see the forward them we get, and them just say, yo, book Roots, man. Yeah. Bad sound, rare, 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 when you get robbed, basically. You know what I mean? And we end up getting a lot of data out of it. Oh, they're there. Because I think another one, another stop on that tour there was, this was a one-on-one. One of the first one-on-ones I've seen you guys out there was you versus Northern Lights. Yes. Yeah. That was a nice clash, too. Mm-hmm. The dance there. Like we say, I want to do something there mm-hmm. where we know we cannot win the dance there. Okay. We win two rounds and mm-hmm. didn't even get... None of the vote them for the dance. Yeah. Them can't even tell you, because when we do the interview, them do the interview and admit mm-hmm. that said, you know, Rootsman did win that round in a them interview. And, but we say, like we say, we're in somebody else's country up against for them crowd and for them thing. So it was a good clash. Mm-hmm. It was a really, really nice clash, you know. Northern Light do very good. We do good, but we just feel like the voting wasn't right for we. Mm-hmm. You understand? We, we, we know we win two rounds and them never get to it. It's just there was no winning that one. There's no winning. Okay? We don't see it set from the first round and we win the first round. And we see the people, they never give it. It's like Vertex and we and reaction. Mm-hmm. Like, my boy don't see. But in idea, I look on Chucky and say, Chucky, we see what the dance are set up. Mm-hmm. But here we are going to do. We are going to play with best. And that's all we can do. Whether people they want to give you the vote or not, you play your best. You understand? 
Because we know say we know the people them now give with the vote when voting comes. So we just mm-hmm. say yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. It we're is just here to impress. Yeah, we just want to make Bill a fan. If we can win out some people from outside and build up a fan club, we win it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Same thing like when we even go to New York, we had Earth Ruler clash. Same thing. I think it was Earth Ruler and City Lock was in the stands. Earth Ruler and City Lock, yeah. Same thing. We are shell on a place, but you don't know Earth Ruler. The dance was not a ram dance, so most of the man in the dance, mm-hmm. Earth Ruler people, them, so. I just, one of them dance here, I feel just say, take it as it is. You know what I mean? We got Bermuda. We clash with um, Genesis. In and Bermuda. Bermuda, Genesis, and Super Goal. Yeah, man. And the dance eh? we do good. We don't even hear nobody talk about the dance. It, mm-hmm. it was a mad dance. And was it a trophy or was it just whoever won? No, it was whoever win. And we end up. Who did you jump out first? The sound, hometown sound, Genesis. Yeah. Yeah, man. If you listen, the audio is out there to you. So, mm-hmm. when we all talk them things, I mean, more uh, more people go listen to the audio. Mm-hmm. Them. Don't take my word for it. Because I mean, I need to lie like about certain things. Mm-hmm. Just listen to the audio. You understand? The audio and the video, them out there. And it speaks for itself. Yeah. You're right. It's like, especially when you're just going out in the world, trying to figure it out. Because remember, your hometown audience is totally different, different. than when you're on the road and mm. there's no that Roots Man chant. Yeah. You understand? Even with that, that same chant, the only song I've seen actually break through that chant one time and everybody see, okay, now you could get through this, mm. was Desert Storm in Desert Zone Storm, 1. The dance, eh? Mm-hmm. I know English speaks with me that dance there. <laughs> <laughs> Got a dance there. Them times they can't call, just drop out. Mm-hmm. I mean, I tell you, say, Roots, man. What was, what was that dance name again? Um, Ron Nelson, he keep the dance there. Eh? It, it was it's like, it, it was set up that, like, you clash two different sound at the same night. Mm-hmm. Uh, you're advancing at the same night to clash mm-hmm. this sound. Yeah. So I think we end up beat Black Melody that time. Mm-hmm. We had Scooter Clash and we advanced and it was we had. Desert Storm, you know, go at it and mm-hmm. we had a good way to shell it. I mean, you know, Shark, we make a speech, same dream. So, so Kankar and Kankar tell me one dub, dub box there or whatever. And yes. The man, play a blood cleat. Bunty, not even a killing Bunty, you know, Bunty, but down in the ghetto with the poor man. We never made a Bunty there. <laughs> See, that was true. The, the way the bunty in church, you mm-hmm. like that, mm-hmm. the real bunty vice from back in the days. Mm-hmm. See, so that dance, eh? we end up when Sharp get them forward, they may tell English, eh? we don't have to worry still. Because mm-hmm. uh, he may not play back a song in that around. I mean, I say, I preach, you know. But then Fabo now, I say, no matter why I'm can't eliminate desert storm because yeah. the foul, then my desert storm get anywhere, me eliminate desert storm. <laughs> <laughs> the whole place I like, go probably mash up or a buckle I go fling on him, you know, one that happens. So I say it is that it is sharp on my bridging. Go you. Mm-hmm. Yeah man, you may not win that dance, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, that was the first time I seen anybody really clearly break through mm. that roots man chant. Cause yeah. that chant boss from it started, you might as well stop playing and go home. Yeah man. You know what I mean? Sharp get some forward and I mean I like mm-hmm. when you drop something man the man all I do push up on the stage and all kind of thing <laughs> yes performance mm-hmm. all I do bad bad MC man no people that give him the ratings and the respect mm-hmm. but when I bad MC in Canada you, you understand know? another wicked clash this is where you guys actually dominated this clash from beginning to end was I think it was the return of Tapo with Rootsman versus Young Hawk no before that one was um was Rebel Tone we, yes, because the Rebel Tone was 2015-ish type of thing. Yes, yes. 2015 was we and Rebel Tone. Yes, and at this time, he was defending champion because he had won two yeah, or three. Yeah, he won two of them before mm-hmm. that now. And, you know, mm-hmm. I must say, yeah, one of segment all, all argument. Because every time now, Fatkata say we always a win. Mm-hmm. You know, fully loaded against Nubi. And it was a little thing about Gene and Finch, two son. And who I bought the son that Gene and Finch and car. You know, mm-hmm. you don't know it too so when I rip finch and rare, rare, rare. Mm-hmm. And then like there, like we say, the audio <laughs> speak for itself. <laughs> you know what I mean? No way. Like we say, give him respect, mm-hmm. bad selector. But the night they were beat him. We lock him off. Three mm-hmm. rounds straight. What was the game plan going in? And worse say you know what he's dealing with. And just like he knows what you're dealing with too, what was the game plan to really 
deal with Rebel Tone that night there? You know, we know Nobi thing. We come in with him, because Nobi is a performer. Mm-hmm. Me is not a performer like Nobi. Mm-hmm. Me have a speech. Mm-hmm. You understand? Nobi have the performance and him can talk to at the same time. But me you now specialize in coordinate my speech with my song. Mm-hmm. If you notice, when you hear me make a speech, it have to connect with my song. Them, mm-hmm. he's not one of them MC. They were just talk any crap. If you, you play a song about weed, you talk about girl. If mm-hmm. you play a song about gun, you talk about God. That's not me. Any song when me play, have to connect. So me kind of basically out speech him the night. Mm-hmm. You understand? He have some like nice song when him cut, and he have him like gimmicks. You understand? Cause him is a youth. Him know if he cut dub. Mm-hmm. Him know if he design dub. Just like we, cause we love them something. We love put together song and design song and like we say, we are come from the same camp, same school. They are come from. So him love do them something. Them love do them something. He just the night there, but basically, old speech him or old play him. Mm-hmm. You know, cause him select wrong. Him select backwards. Yeah. The song them we know we play first. Him should have played them last. So he will get all a big forward for custom them in the first beginning and when he come off and finish him round, mm-hmm. him not have nothing for deliver to deliver the people. I always tell a sound man this say. You see the last five minutes of your round, you have to leave an impact. Mm-hmm. So this is for the young sound them out there. Cause I first now get them lessons here. <laughs> see? <laughs> Anytime you are clash. The last five minutes is most important. Don't care about where you play in a fuss. If you are clash it, if you play half an hour round or twenty minutes round, mm-hmm. you see the first twenty minutes or first fifteen minutes where you play don't mean nothing. It's the last five minutes of count. So me always practice that and adapt that 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 thing that I train in my head with, with English and Spider. Mm-hmm. Them always I say, you see the last five minutes, you have to left the place in a frenzy. And leave an impact. So mm-hmm. that the people them I remember. Them now remember nothing about what you play in at the beginning. Mm-hmm. Them just want to know say, yeah, what yo, and you come off with a fire. Yeah. So me just keep that in my head over and over and over and say, yo, when we are come off, I always I watch the time and say, yo, five minutes left. Mm-hmm. Alright. We could go harder ah, five minutes here. Yeah. All your screws first and then when you come off, boss around the last five minutes. And at this, so you leave the people them with that impact and leave the place in a frenzy. Mm-hmm. And at that, the people them are member, and at that, they're going to vote for you. And at, uh, so we end up beating nobody. We just, you know, the game plan there, we just put in our head and say, mm-hmm. that we are going to do. Yes, because you guys were, this was a one on one clash. Because again, it seems like that's where you guys really accelerate. Where it's either you and one other sound mm-hmm. or you and two songs. And they say, okay, yeah, this is where we could work. We're going to a whole heap Microwave clash so to say. Mm-hmm. And me always I tell Randy say, me not like the microwave. If a man I go beat we, can I turn on enough dance because of this now. Can mm-hmm. I learn and I grow over the years and me going on, like me say, we're going enough of the fully loaded them, we're going enough of them, you know what I mean, three sound clash, two sound clash or whatever. You know what I mean? So we say, yeah, well, I'm going to start take on some one on one clash because we build up our dub box to a level now. We say, yo, this this are dubbox that can't kill any jar or kill any bass or this thing. Any uh, big name sound them. Mm-hmm. We say any boy I want beat we can talk to you one on one. Run with a song. Seeing if you can do that one on one and beat with two, three rounds straight, you and we alone. You understand? Mm-hmm. You're not ready for roots, man. You understand? So we just say, yeah, well, we're gonna take the one on one clash them and forget about the mic we have clashed them five, six sound. And from we start the one on one clash. It was like how much dance we went straight? Nearly ten. Show if we went straight. Our our eight eight. Cause we take the Montreal clash them. Montreal yes. clash them with we and Lickerton. Cause we say either one on one or three sound clash. We mm-hmm. do nothing over three. Mm-hmm. Seeing and we start going all the Montreal reggae festival sound clash and we, the first one we win was against Lickerton. The second one was against Pison Dart. Mm-hmm. Yeah man. And then we say, yeah, what? Well, we're gonna take on the world class champion, Rebel Tone. Seeing beat Rebel Tone. And then the next one was King Turbo. Let's talk about this King Turbo clash because a lot of people don't understand that. At first, you guys used to almost like hang out basically. 
the early roots managed time. You guys hang. I even have a CD mm. where you guys are playing. Yeah, man. Dub for dub and all those stuff. Man. All right. Did not even say really hang out. Mm-hmm. King Turbo, they, they have a studio where we used to go and we used to do a lot of vice in there. Andrew, them used to call me anytime any artist coming in a city and, you know, mm-hmm. them time they specs of them like a portable thing. So, like, no flick of time now if, like, Buju Day and now and with a call, Specs, Specs would have called me and say, yo, you know, Buju down town, you know, you know? Mm-hmm. I walk with the portable and you want the song and drive going, you know, vice and we start build up a little relationship right there, so, you know, a friendship right there, so, and so we and Turbo them start link and all is up at the studio with Angie you now and, you know, my animal is a reason and, you know, he might tell me he love the direction of the sound I go and he start giving me some little advice and, you know, See, until I want a time to start listening to him advice. So I must say, Yo, you know, Turbo is a sound and then mix up and drama. If you notice Turbo in a class by themselves and Turbo is like a household name and mm-hmm. them separate themselves from everybody else. I mean, I say, you know what? You're right. Mm-hmm. Some of them sound, man, I have to go leave now and isolate myself from some of them people. And I really could clash for run down to one, you know. Start showing me some little things and, you know, I listen to what Andrew is saying, you know. I start pick and choose now. I clash them when I go in and. You know, when him start link now, and one day them come to me and say, you know, if we, we could do a little dub mix thing, and yeah. we end up doing a nice little dub mix CD, them put it out, and it was a big thing, man. A lot of people all over the world love it. Mm-hmm. Like, Jamaica go everywhere, and we go all Europe and hear the CD I play my shock. Okay. Yeah, shock. When we hear it, mm-hmm. and you know, the CD went far. I was so surprised. Like, I couldn't believe it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So, if we big up specs and Andrew for that the dub mix CD there, you know? Mm. Really went a far away with it. Yeah, man. Okay, so then tell me, how did that dance even, that clash even come about? Because this is King Turbo, world-class champion, mm. roots man that's been killing off everything. How did they approach you to even do that clash in the first place, and why did you say yes? Well, it wasn't really Turbo approach me. I think Turbo and Mellow Vibes, Scully from Mellow Vibes, Swan Promotion, had some kind of deal from before. Mm-hmm. And I think Andrew and him did kind of have some agreements mm-hmm. before them even win the World Clash to Clash Rootsman Sound or... I, I, I think it was something like that. Like him mm-hmm. and Andrew, they have some kind of agreements. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because I remember when the first time for we Clash Rootsman, you know, I think Jill even bring the offer to to them for Clash Rootsman and them turn it down and say, you know, Specs say, Rootsman are ready for this, Rootsman are baby sewn and <laughs> we, we, we. So we say, no problem. Yeah. You know, we never take it as no hard feeling because me is a youth, me like to prove myself. Mm-hmm. You understand? Because we say, yo, like we say, them time, we have an agenda, say, we are going to build with name and, and, you know, become one of the biggest thing in Canada and, you know, we don't know how far it will take, but we just say, yeah, well, we are going to work with you in our business and pay with you. Mm-hmm. And, which clash would he win? Uh, I think would it beat? Was it Stepper Chase? Or? I think it would have been Stepper Chase that you yeah. had. It was yeah. We end up beat Stepper Chase. Mm-hmm. Wanted. Uh, them time the Stepper Chase are going good. Them j- did win uh, two wanted dance back to back and mm-hmm. ray 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 and you know we end up now and them say yo Stepper Chase. Uh, we know and we end up beat Stepper Chase and I think like me said them I think Scully and Andrew them don't have an agreement before them even win the World Clash. Okay. That, you know, we are going to defend the title against King Turbo. So it happened perfectly that Turbo end up win World Clash. Mm-hmm. Now and, you know what I mean? So it's a good look. And we know if we even beat Turbo now, it's a good thing. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So it end up that, you know, I don't think the dance, it line up right away. Like it take years or two years after everything you know what I mean? Because end up that Turbo is not a sound where I can clash any or any sound. Because <laughs> even we, we, we know, we start, like we said, we start set with things like oh, Turbo set them things. We're not going to get up and clash anybody. Because me, number one, I don't clash for money. <laughs> me more clash for the trophy or the title because the money where a promoter pay me, I'm going to invest it back in the sound thing. Yeah. You understand? We're going to end up using it. Don't play it. So, me as I say, if I go clash a man, better me clash him for them title. You understand? <laughs> So, Stepper Chase was going on good. Rebel Tune was going on good. All them sound where we clash, 
had a title. Little Thunder, them was like the man from Montreal, Pison that was a bad sound from Florida. You know what I mean? Turbo now, two time world class champion, and you know what I mean? We don't have how many titles already, like, you know? So it's only fear that the man we you go up against at least him have something that you know you're gonna clash. It's a big name, like Turbo win two time world class champion. Mm-hmm. You know that we are naming up clash we didn't we did expect Ricky for forward, but everybody the, expected Ricky. That time I guess you know, little controversy are going after them crew and Ray Ray and you know, that, you know? We didn't have that is lucky to have to step up to the mm-hmm. plate and you know, we look a bridging still out, you know. Mm-hmm. And even they really want So you prepared mentally and song wise for Ricky and Andrew. Yes man, definitely man. Like mm-hmm. remember me tell you man, definitely prepare for them the night. Mm-hmm. Because there's no way like we done so yo, we na we make up our mind. Mm-hmm. We practice with the dance and we put we sang them together weeks and weeks up until the clash. We are we are prepared for the clash. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like we say, we never expect dice luck. You know what I mean? I believe you me, even though we in the dance, eh? mm-hmm. we never go hard on Dice Lack. I tell you the honest God truth. You know what I mean? Big up Dice Lack, Andrew. Mm-hmm. But them know we never go hard on them. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And that time they would cut a lot of dope. Like when we say, Rootsman was over prepared for the dance. Eh? You know what I mean? What was the plan? How did you figure in your mind you're going to beat the world champion King Turbo and you know the love that people have for Turbo in the first place. So how did you plan on Overcoming King Turbo on a one on one clash. No, I mean, by now, say, like we say, we done cut with song them and we know, say, Rootsman is a all around sound now. Like, mm-hmm. we don't just cut, say, gangster dub alone or just regular dub. We cut f- foundation, we cut combination, we cut culture. Mm-hmm. We make sure of the whole ki- um, package. Uh, yeah. To say, you understand? So we know in ourselves so we reach a CJ account. Even though October are a world class champion, we went up against Jaro before, we went up against BSA DC, we went up all, against all these big names. So we, went, we even beat Black Yacht. Mm-hmm. And then Black Yacht was the first world class champion we win. We win a truth against Zone 1. Zone 1. You and Studio Mixer was you and King we, Klepto? We, King Klepto, and Lexo Supreme, and Black Yacht. Hold that thought. We'll get back to it. Let's finish this turbo. Mm-hmm. <laughs> See? So, we know in ourselves, eh, if we can beat the whole of them sound there, eh, we can beat King Turbo. King Turbo is a love. A two sound when me see the people them love, apart from Rootsman in Canada, mm-hmm. was King Turbo and Black Reaction. Like, those two sound as a household name, people mm-hmm. love them sound there. Eh, and then, we know as a younger generation, we're coming in uh, 2000 era now, people them start love we. Because we have that little... War attitude, the way people them love, and me is a people person. Yeah. Because everybody say me a big friend for everybody. <laughs> so, <laughs> me no go out and dance, and me no yell up. Me can't pass you and I see and I yell up, and I me that. Mm-hmm. You understand? No matter how big me is, you know what I mean? Or how big a man is, or how small a man is, mm-hmm. me no, me, me is a youth with manners, and me that. Yeah, man. So, it's like when. Ricky didn't show up because remember the rumble was happening a couple of days say Ricky's not going to show up because whatever he made post Andrew made back a post mm-hmm. so you not getting to deal with Ricky mm-hmm. that kind of I guess it really you didn't feel 100% in that win right mm-hmm. there that's why I mean, even say it in my speech I say it's a joy if a clash if you hear when I make a speech I say it's a joy if a clash turbo and it's also not a joy. Yeah. You understand? Because we don't want Ricky there mm-hmm. at the same time. Because we have a thing to prove against Ricky. And everybody has said, you know, Ricky are the face figure for King Turbo. Mm-hmm. I'm at the war red. So you don't want to clash nobody under Ricky. You understand? You want to clash the man himself. So we are prepared for Ricky. Not just say Ricky alone. King mm-hmm. Turbo overall. Because me also make another speech and tell the people them say, I don't want a man discredit to win. Because yeah. we don't have it in our head, so we are going to beat King Turbo. I mean, I say, I don't want a man discredit to win and say, oh, Ricky wasn't here. Mm-hmm. King Turbo is here with King Turbo double it. And it's King Turbo versus Rootsman zone. Mm-hmm. So I don't want a man come talk about, oh, Ricky never did this. So, re, 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 re. I don't clash Ricky, I clash King Turbo zone. Because Andrew there with the song, them and Andrew is the background for King Turbo too. Mm-hmm. You understand? So that's why I make sure make them two speeches and make the people them know. 
you know it's single. A man go to discredit your work if you win. Uh, no matter when Rootsman win, you hear some kind of controversy. Mm-hmm. Say, oh, them come with them bag and crowd from Jane and Finch and one bag of man. When, no, no go so. Mm-hmm. Sometimes when 90% of the people them will cheer for Rootsman so on a clash. It's not even from Jane and Finch. Mm-hmm. But true, everybody have this thing in their mind now about Rootsman and Jane and Finch crowd. It's everybody a cheer for roots, man. Mm-hmm. When you look on the video, they may say man from Scarborough, man from Brampton, Malta, and everywhere a cheer for. When I, most of the time, 90% of the people don't cheer for roots, man, is from Scarborough. Yeah. Check <laughs> okay. back the video them. Yeah. Check the video them. Because that's why I mean, as I tell people, say the video, it speaks for itself. Mm-hmm. You understand? You cannot go around a video. Mm-hmm. You understand? <laughs> Yeah, man. Makes sense. Okay, so you guys, you guys won that one. I think that was a uh, three rounds. You guys won three rounds straight, man. Yeah. For the last three clash, them we win. Mm-hmm. Nobi was three rounds straight. Mm-hmm. King Turbo three rounds straight. Mm-hmm. Young Ox three rounds straight. Okay, with this Turbo dance, you guys won. Beat them up. Whatever they're gone to work, hash whatever. Coupled, I think it was a week or two after this, mm-hmm. they ended up at. At World Clash. This is what we as a crowd said, because we're going to get into the Young Hawk just now, mm-hmm. but want to finish off for the Turbo. Mm-hmm. Us in the crowd said this if we don't see Ricky and Andrew mm-hmm. at World Clash, yeah. our intention mm-hmm. is to get out King Turbo first. Yeah, because you want me to know the people, them kind of hurt over the whole situation with Ricky not showing up a few dance. Mm-hmm. You understand with, with Rootsman and King Turbo, so the people, them don't have in their mind and say, oh, it's like yeah, this few dance figure world clash. Mm-hmm. So my people them shock when they even see Ricky at world clash. Cause they mm-hmm. never expect Ricky figure. Cause you, you didn't show up at a dance with Roots man. How are you gonna show up at the dance with world clash dance? Mm-hmm. So the people them don't say yeah, well, we're gonna let a belt you mm-hmm. for this trick. Yeah, man. one thousand so, percent. Because at this time. We were we were all fed up of the bickering. Okay, mm-hmm. we understand that you guys have problems in the camp. That's mm-hmm. cool. Mm-hmm. We want entertainment. Exactly. You guys figured it out. Mm-hmm. You're not going to not be at this Rootsman one and then show up at um, World Clash and get the support. No, man, we were tired at that time. Mm-hmm. We said first, not second or third, first. Yeah, man, because I first me ever see like Canada people switch banking turbo. Mm-hmm. First in their history, like... Mm-hmm. Over the years, let me see, like, the love of Canada people show King Turbo. Like, this was the first time for see, like, mm-hmm. the people, them just say, yeah, well, no matter where you play, we not get no chance. Nope. No chance. Too soon, we see that happen too. Mm-hmm. Even uh, my boy, there, um, Junior D, mm-hmm. we see them do the same thing too. Which song was he playing at that time? King Atani. Because mm-hmm. they advanced from... Um, Rumble, mm-hmm. fake, <laughs> you know what I mean? And it's like the people, them just say, yeah, well. <laughs> Not tonight. Mm-mm. Not tonight. No, sir, that now. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Okay, we could go one or two ways here. I want to go, okay, we're going to go forward and then we're going to come back to the black cat mm-hmm. and something else. <laughs> yeah. This is what I want to ask you. Know? Okay, we're cash and all that. Management is involved, your management is involved with Rumble. Rumble carries you to World Clash. Why haven't we seen Rootsman inside of a Rumble to advance to World Clash? No, because we don't make a decision so we don't take no more of them kind of microwave clash there. Mm-hmm. Now, me make up a decision and, you know, and the team talk and we say, no more of these clash. We could have gone in a, any one of the Rumble any time. We could, we could have even gone in a World Clash if we wanted. We didn't even have to go in Rumble. Mm-hmm. To be in World Clash because even the man himself that keep World Clash one a roots man in one of the rumble them one a roots man to go in world, you know what I mean? So why didn't we see you? Okay, you're saying rumble is you guys didn't go because you don't want the microwave. But remember, and then at the same time, mm-hmm. members from Roots Man Zone I promote Rumble too. But this is where I'm going to stop you now. You understand? Because this leads to another dance that we're going to talk about just now. Remember the Roots Man. Lexa Supreme mm-hmm. and Mighty Crown Dance. Yeah. That was Irish and Chin and Jill that kept that dance. Yeah. Mighty Crown was on it. So mm-hmm. then you know Chin them, they're pushing their song, Mighty mm-hmm. Crown. So then if management is involved, Rootsman management is involved with Rumble, World Clash now, mm-hmm. you know the program already. Mm-hmm. You're getting pushed. Mm-hmm. So then it always looked like 
what happened with Roots, man? So even if you don't want to do the microwaves, mm -hmm. you know this microwave leads to the bigger stage. Why wouldn't you say, okay, we'll take just this one to go to the bigger stage? No, it's just, we've been to the bigger stage, you know. It's not like, say, Roots, man, never been to work class. We went to World Clash in Jamaica. You Roots, went to the... Yeah, we, yeah. We, we were on World Clash in Pier 1. Mm -hmm. You understand? And... We say after that, that world clash, we say we're not take no more of these kind of clash. Mm -hmm. You understand? We're not going to take no more. Like me say, we just make a decision and say, yeah, what? Well, if I saw no one beat Rootsman, we're not going to the microwave clash. You have to wonder if Rootsman will get eliminated or not. Mm -hmm. You understand? Because you will win, like we say, around and you end up get robbed. Look on Jamaica world clash. We did okay. Mm -hmm. And... Matarana say, oh, you know, say a panther, a black cat should have dropped out and where, where Rootsman shouldn't get him. We know why you know none of that. So I say, if a man want to beat Rootsman, mm -hmm. beat with one and one, beat with fear and squeer. So we just decide, say, yeah, what? The best thing for Rootsman is, load the microwave clash and it work out. Mm -hmm. We end up at the great, we are win clashes after clashes, undefeated one and one, basically. Mm -hmm. Like, we don't lose no clash one and one. You know what I mean? So. <laughs> One more you want, <laughs> like we, okay. we, it, it, it work out for the team better. Mm -hmm. You understand? I understand that way of thinking. Okay, you didn't want to do the rumbles, mm -hmm. so why didn't you just jump and go straight to world class? Then you're gonna hear people talk, like, but then just go straight. Like, there. like we said, mm -hmm. we didn't want to be in those kind of microwave stuff. We didn't want to like the five, six zone and the seven zone. You understand? We could have, like we said, we could have given him go to Canada World Clash or go in it. And we know so we could have probably maybe win. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because at the time, we don't have like the fan club where we want to see Rootsman go World Clash in Canada. Mm -hmm. You understand? But like me say, you know what I mean? So, World Clash is the biggest stage. Even okay, you pass well, Rumble. Maybe, maybe to some people, you know, mm -hmm. me look on it different. You know, World Clash mm -hmm. is just another clash. You understand? Cause probably the, right now. All right, me always I tell people this, you know, say, mm -hmm. this is why sometimes sound man hurt themselves and mm -hmm. uh, mess up them career. Mm -hmm. Because they feel like, say, if them win World Clash, them reach a heights way, that's it. I'm mm -hmm. the World Clash champion, them not to do nothing. World Clash to me is just another dance. You win World Clash, either you use it to advance yourself and get more data or whatever and maintain your sound. Mm -hmm. You can just feel like, say, you win World Clash and that's it, dance stop. Dance no stop a World Clash. <laughs> Before That's there the was beginning. World Clash, you have UK club, you have World Cup Clash, you have all kind of something, global clash, all these things. Music do not stop at World Clash. Mm -hmm. To me, World Clash is just another man promotion, mm -hmm. just like anybody else. Not because this man I keep the promotion name World Clash. Mm -hmm. Sound Clash do not stop at World Clash. And that some of these sound men feel for realize, like them feel like them reach a pinnacle. Oh, we win World Clash, we are the biggest thing in the world. No. It's just a title of a dance. Mm -hmm. Sound Clash do not stop a World Clash. All when World Clash stop keep, mm -hmm. Sound Clash still a continue. So we are going to tell me, say, mm -hmm. World Clash is the biggest thing and it don't know? No. It's just another dance. It's just a man promotion. You know what I mean? That's that my opinion still. Mm -hmm. If you want to feel like World Clash is the biggest thing you need to do. You know what I mean? It reach a point. Yes, it's one of the biggest entertainment. You understand? Our biggest promotion name mm -hmm. in the business. But... Just like Global Clash, just like Fully Loaded at Jamaica, just like this, you know what I mean? Those things had big crowds, big impact, just like World Clash. You get what I'm saying? But you as a sound man now, you win World Clash, you're going to say, yo, I win World Clash, I don't need to clash nobody else because I don't kill half. Who you kill? Mm -hmm. Who you kill? Where have you go after that? Where have you traveled to? Show me your passport because I can't show you mine. <laughs> you understand? Dance, no stop a world clash. You have to maintain your thing after. Either you can capitalize on it and get more dates and take more clash. World clash is basically the door opener. It's yeah. not the sale and be all. It opens a door mm -hmm. that allows you to do some other stuff that yes. you want to do. Yes, You understand? Definitely. That's why it's like... But that's why I'm going to tell you, say, I don't want these sound man to feel like say, that are the highest pinnacle in a dance mm -hmm. sound clash. Like say, when you win a, if you win a world clash, mm -hmm. that's it. You don't need to do nothing more. Mm -hmm. You as a sound know, say, you know, clash, do all of the bad sound in the world. Mm -hmm. And you know, just come and just get lucky now and just win, get some little known name sound. Mm -hmm. And that's like, you get lucky and win the biggest clash because the title name world clash, the dance title name world clash. Mm -hmm. You're going to say, okay, my body sound in the world, I don't need to do nothing more. 
So I'm the rest I saw them pay dues how much years for top of years and I make their name. Mm-hmm. See? And some of them sound man, they're not even enter world clash or go in a world clash. So you go tell me, say, no, you bought this thing in the world. Dance no stop a world clash. It's just a title, a name of a dance, and a name of a promotion, world clash promotion. See? Mm-hmm. So me always I tell sound man, because I don't know if you see my way or how I see it, but in a my views, like I said, this is my opinion. Mm-hmm. You understand? I mean, uh, this no man promotion. World Clash is a good thing. Is a For sure. great thing. You understand? But Sound Clash do not stop at World Clash. So the Sound man, them where we even win World Clash, need to open them eyes and know, say, your career not stop you, sir. You haven't done any work in the business really and truly yet. You understand? You still need to put in work. You, you win World Clash, you're supposed to use it as your advantage. Oh, more doors and bigger doors. Okay, yeah. so then could we be 100% honest then? Mm-hmm. Is that what happened to Mystic? They won the big thing and figured that the world would come to them and that's not what happened at all? Let me tell you something. Me don't know like how Mystic Camp is or who are the management team. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But one thing me know, you have a thing named out of sight, out of mind. You understand? So, if nobody na see you play upon a dance, yeah, or nobody na see you support the dance, yeah, or, you know what I mean? Nobody. Like me say, mm-hmm. like Mystic win World Clash, but look on the man where I get the whole idea them after World Clash. Sometimes, like me say, you, know, you don't have to win a dance to get the glory. Sometimes the glory come after. Dynamic did not win World Clash, but who are receive all the glory. Them I get the whole like bookings, them I get mm. one DC, you understand? I mean, like me say, I don't know mystic management team or what them are. They must do something, you understand, for get out there. Maybe they don't want to get out there, I don't know. You know, that I fit them business. But from when me see with dynamic, they're getting all the dates ever since they lose. World clash. It's the impact that you create. Because as you said, everything isn't clear cut. Like, okay, you win, this is what's going to happen. Mm-hmm. You lose, this is what's going to happen. It's what you did within those two or three hours that were in this dance mm-hmm. is what's going to count after the fact. Mm-hmm. Trophy is good, you know. Yeah. Trophies are amazing, you know. But sometimes it's what you did. That biggest forward from the night, it might be from a Keep song that didn't that even come. There's just a performance. Mm-hmm. Like, let me tell you, say, Look, like I said, go back to Rhythm Clash. Rootsman mm-hmm. did not win Rhythm Clash. Mm-hmm. But the performance and the song where we play, the impact where we leave from that dance, mm-hmm. we get so much date out of it. You understand? We got a million date from that, just that Rhythm Clash alone. The, mm-hmm. the, so much respect where we get worldwide and we did not win. Mm-hmm. But when people watch the video and people watch the dance and promoter where they are the dance, it's just, you know what I mean? So it's not, sometimes it's not the man who win the title. You understand? Mm-hmm. Sometimes it's the man who had the runner-up. It's the impact, or even third place. It's just the impact mm. that you created. Okay, if you're saying World Clash isn't the say-all and be-all, mm. is there actually a pinnacle in Sound Clash? You say, okay, if I did this, or this, this, and this, I now basically got to the top of the game. Or is it, how does it work in 2021, right? Well, like me say, I only can speak for myself mm-hmm. when we look on things in my point of view. For sure. You understand? There's no pinnacle mm-hmm. in dance hall or in sound clash. You understand? Because mm-hmm. how many years you see Panta them win clash and still a clash? Mm-hmm. How many years you see Panta lose clash and still, remember in a Panta was one of the sound who lose the most clash. And then Panta now is a seven star world class mm-hmm. champion. Mm-hmm. And still after world class Panta a clash. There's no pinnacle. You just have to maintain your sound and continue your sound and maintain the culture. Because that's the only thing we can do, you know. Mm-hmm. Keep maintaining this business. There's no stopping. Cause if we know as a every sound man we say we win a title or win world class title and say, Oh, that's it, me hang up my belt. Mm-hmm. So everybody will come do the same thing and say, Oh, me don't need to do nothing more in our business. What happens then? Exactly. Mm-hmm. This thing would have dead out. Mm-hmm. So there's no pinnacle in, in, in sound clash. It's just you win, you have to just maintain. If you feel like you retire, hand down the sound to somebody else, either you park your sound. Mm-hmm. 
because there's so many sound park up, but still you have younger sound arise, younger sound a born. You understand? There's no stopping, there's no pinnacle. Mm-hmm. It's just a cycle. <laughs> you win NBA championship. Yeah. Why you think NBA done? Every year somebody else win a title mm-hmm. or the same sound come back and win a title. <laughs> It there's, just there's stops no. along the way mm-hmm. on the road of this journey called Sound Clash, Sound System, Business, or whatever the case is, mm-hmm. that you collected all these stuff. So then the day you decide, okay, I'm done with this, now you look back and say, hey, we collected 75 trophies over the years, and these exactly. were the stops that we made. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Exactly. It's just like like we say, Rootsman is one of the songs where we the most trophy mm-hmm. in Canada. Seen? Well, if a man want to argue against that, we can put trophy for trophy. You know, <laughs> from what me you know when they dance, and what we win. Yeah. Like there's no, and we don't win a world class title yet. Mm-hmm. You understand? We don't know if we're ever gonna win one, but the amount of trophy where we win and the work where we put in over the years, if we don't even win a world class, we're not gonna stop. We're gonna still continue. If me even stop playing rootsman sound this day, mm-hmm. me I gonna try to find the next youth if we continue the sound. You understand? Cause you want your legacy live on and continue because right now it's just a legacy where you have where you, you have to try to keep and maintain mm-hmm. there's no stopping in this thing you just have to maintain your legacy we might not clash as often as one time like when we were young and hungry and I try to make a name you reach a stage now that you don't have to take 50 clash or 6 clash one year or rare, 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 rare. Mm-hmm. we learn the business and know say yeah what no sometimes if you make the people they miss you I make them hunger for you. And when they want to see you now, you give them an impact now. You, you go and cut your little dub them on the sideline and mm-hmm. build up your thing. And cause you want, every time you go out there, you give something them something new, the people them something new or something special. So that's why me trying to take as much clash as often now. We take one clash a year and we try to take a clash out of Canada or somewhere out of the area like it's not going to be in Toronto. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Some man might cuss me and say, oh, Rootsman only clash once a year. <laughs> no, I pass them stage, you know, I take five, six clash and I water down my sound. If it's not a good price or it's a good, a reasonable sound or, you know what I mean? I don't go up against any or anybody. Mm-hmm. You understand? I feel like I pay my dues. You understand? It's like starting from high school, yeah. go to college. I feel like I sound in the NBA now. You understand? Mm-hmm. So if... Me now go, go clash against a like a college player or no like a high school player. You have to know see in an NBA lane for talk to roots, man. Yeah. And it's not everybody reach the NBA level. You understand? So might think them reach there and him. Oh roots man and clash no young sound. Build up your name and build up your thing and come talk to it. Fair enough. Let's get out one more elephant out of the room. Mm-hmm. When are we getting one on one? Ranger versus Polly, Rootsman versus King Klepto. <laughs> when are we getting that? We don't know. Anything is possible, you know. <laughs> Anything, all right. <clears throat> right now, we have Klepto. Five love. Because <laughs> every time Klepto and Rootsman up on a dance, mm-hmm. we either win the dance or we advance over Klepto. Mm-hmm. There's not a dance, so we know that Klepto beat. Rootsman as yet. You understand? And every dance so we are clipped to the pond, Rootsman always end up the winner. Mm-hmm. You understand? We, we, we never actually clash one on one. You know what I mean? When are we going to get that? I don't know. Anything is possible, you know, because me, you know, just sit down and say, yo, me, I got to pray for Clash Pali or Ray Ray. Like, my thing is just, you come to we, you know, with the right money, mm-hmm. you understand, and the right promotion. And uh, me, not, me, not do a thing named barbershop conversation <clears throat> excuse me you have some man with talk about oh roots man yo who are roots man I run from we are here I do business so mm-hmm. you want clash roots man you come talk to it on a financial level mm-hmm. you understand and you line up with date and like me tell you say me not just jump up and clash so you have to have something for me a clash your card it's not about money to me mm-hmm. at this stage now it's about your title so a man where I make up nice every day, mm-hmm. me not kill out myself with a clashing because you see, nice we just make is just nice what make. You understand? Me want to see what you have done in your business because throw two words here at a little mm-hmm. dubbed something and feature don't mean you have anything to show. Mm-hmm. What dance have you won in the last five years or how much title have you, trophy have you won or 
So, yeah, that's done. So probably going through the LP experience, mm -hmm. the one a day experience and all of that, and now back to Klepto. You don't think that Polly is a contender for Rootsman at this stage here right now today? Okay. Show me what impact Polly has done for LP mm -hmm. as a Oswald name worldwide. You understand? LP give Polly an opportunity mm -hmm. for make a name. You understand? He move from this, sir. One of the give him an opportunity again for make a name. Sometimes it's like this. You ever see like um, a dog leave, leave him yard and he's straight away gone all over the road and ray, ray, ray. You understand? Because mm -hmm. you have some people that move and go live in apartments, but they still have to come back home. <laughs> you understand? There's a house for you. Mm -hmm. You might go through all kind of apartment, but there's always a house for you. Mm -hmm. You understand? Polly, like me say, is a youth where he can sell a story. You understand? Polly is a youth where, like we say, no, to tell you the truth, you know, Polly used to come practice with me, you know. See him English there, you know. If you want to talk, mm -hmm. English used to come and show Polly how to put in music together and train Polly how to become an MC. I don't know if I'm going to admit them something there, mm -hmm. but me can tell you. We and King Klepto have the most. Right now, me can't make you hear the most CD with Rootsman and King Klepto at practice. No, that I know for shows. sure because you guys were, it was, <clears throat> anyhow, when yeah. you seen Ranger, you'd see Polly. Polly, are you to me take up on his car up on the road every time I go, me bring Polly. Mm. Seeing? When I go to New York for the first time, and when I left New York, I do an interview with Chin. Mm -hmm. And I'm one of the youth where he endorsed Polly. Two son me endorsed when I left New York and tell say, people to look out for King Klepto and Outcast. See, because I'm a youth, I always try to endorse people. Mm -hmm. See, and them time the roots man travel enough before even King Klepto start travel, before people even have papers. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> you understand? Mm -hmm. We are Pali apart. Because Pali is supposed to even play roots man sound on that time, the way me and Pali apart. You understand? Can me even tell Polly about King Clip to someone? Ask him if yes, he, you. Did, he did tell me that it was Stinger, and I heard him say that several times. No, that no. When it came to Klepto, you're the one that said, listen, that's your song. You need to go play mm. that song there. Can you know, Polly, <laughs> Polly just fit in on that song there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Put it away there. <laughs> in the box, the right set up. I just, that song there? Yeah. I fit Polly. Mm -hmm. I don't know why Polly left that zone because mm -hmm. Polly was doing so great for King Klepto and I make a name mm -hmm. and, and King Klepto because King Klepto boss Polly and make the world know about Polly. Mm -hmm. You understand? And I, I don't know what gas up he made and tell him to leave that zone but that's where he should have been. God, that zone, they, they dub them basically bill around him. You understand? So, he know that the zone is like a book. Mm -hmm. You understand? So, I don't know like why would he left a zone like that when so on build around him. So right now, today, there is no plans mm -hmm. to clash King Klepto, no. but you're not ruling that out of the equation. No, I don't rule out nothing because all life is there. Mm -hmm. You understand? You see, this thing can build up and it would be a great dance, like mm -hmm. me said, but me not just because a man wants to say something, me just jump, go do it. Mm -hmm. There's a million sound man, me sit type on the internet. I want to see Rootsman versus this. I want to see Rootsman versus that. And mm -hmm. remember, these sound man have them own a sound. Mm -hmm. You understand? Me never hear some of them say they want to see them sound and this a sound clash or that a sound clash. So, like me said, me not really listen to mm -hmm. them kind of barbershop conversation. Because I call them conversation the barbershop. Mm -hmm. Nobody has yet come to us. Rootsman team and make a proposal and make a half of whatever for clash. You know, people mm -hmm. might say, Oh, I want to see Rootsman and Pal Ranger and Polly clash. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Just like how they used to say, They want to see Nubi and Ranger clash. But it take like nearly 10 years or more for Rebel Tone and Rootsman clash. Mm -hmm. And there's that, like, million, apart from King Klepto, there's a million dance where people want to see happen. The most of the time, people say, They want to see Rootsman and Super Fresh clash. Enough dance people want to see Rootsman and this clash, Rootsman and that clash. You understand? Mm -hmm. But, like me say, I don't jump or frighten me say, oh, you know what I mean? Yeah. We are someone who do good and I say, yeah, probably win some dance because 
Probably might have go out with him thing now because he might promote him, juggle ugly, and you know, he might mm-hmm. make a name for himself off of the internet at this moment. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But I don't see Polly clashing nobody or winning no clash at this moment. When we can say, yo, Polly ready for Clash Ranger. He mm-hmm. killed three sound or rare, rare, rare. I don't go brag and say we are the man. Mm-hmm. You understand? Or we respond. I don't respond to Canada. Mm-hmm. But based on the last set of victories where we win, you understand? You. I don't see you do nothing yet compared to what we do for say, you're ready for Clash Roots, man. You know what I mean? You might be a MC with talk and, mm-hmm. you know, people love your style and rare, rare, rare and, you know, he's a, he's, cause Polly is a troublemaker. Bridging is mm-hmm. a troublemaker. <laughs> you understand? So, Polly know of it, do them something there and, you know? Mm-hmm. You and know? make it work, okay? Yeah. And work for him in that way. Yeah, man. I'm okay. Love them something, man. You know. Okay, so then. Him up to kind of promote him thing hard, and it's a youth way. But watch where I come from, from nothing to something. Yeah. You know what I mean? And as me and him might not see eye to eye for enough things, but it's a youth way. Like we say, we come from a same kind of camp. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? We used to practice every day. We used to par, and my proud of him. I promote him name. A lot of people might not like him. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because it's a youth way. Get on enough people's skin, like, you know, him not give a shit, you know, when he's ready for mouth you and cuss you, you know, just him that. But me and him have an understanding. No matter what you hear, me and him cuss each other, rare, rare sometimes behind the scene. Mm-hmm. Is a man who will call me, or me will call him and say, yo, pussy wool. Me, yeah, say, rare, 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 and this or that. Well, boy, I'll talk about your boss with him. So me and him talk. <laughs> you understand? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and you know, Paddy, I say, Enjoy, you know, my thing, that man. Rare, 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 rare. Yeah, I will cuss me and say, yo, <laughs> stop going up in your feelings. Mm-hmm. Rare, rare, rare. <laughs> then I say, you see, you, you. But that's how I him live, you know. Yeah. I'm a bridging, see me, you know. Kept us on me and father stitch. Good bridging, and you know, I respect the man, the man. You know what I mean? We just wish the best for them. If the day come when the man roots, man clash, it is what it is. Okay, fair, fair enough. You, you know, know what? Mean? I asked him the same question. He gave me his answer. I asked you the same thing you gave me answer. So then, okay. It's not Polly right now. Mm. Who is the number one on your hit list as a Canadian song? Where you say, okay, you know what? What someday somehow this has to happen. Someday somehow. You know, say I got disappointed to answer, yeah. No disrespect to any song in Canada at this mm-hmm. moment. But there's nobody on my hit list in Canada like when me I go say me want to kill. Mm-hmm. Because basically, me don't clash the body set a name them to me we have a household name in Canada mm-hmm. and that was Rebel Tone King Turbo and Black Reaction mm-hmm. I'm a win title from those three zone see so right this so mm-hmm. like me say no disrespect to nobody but them name there is not no joke name when it come to Canada you understand? Mm-hmm. Even super fresh, we win title against them, them win against we. But, you know what I mean? We win a fully loaded against them. We clash the biggest sound in the country, we clash the body sound in Edmonton, infamous and them something there. I don't see anybody else at this moment. What more do I need to prove to anybody? Mm-hmm. The biggest household name is King Turbo. Apart from King Turbo, it's Black Reaction. The next big name is Super Fresh. You understand? Mm-hmm. What more me need to prove to any Canadian sound? And me and the whole of them giant they clash. And the next rising giant was coming up was Stepper Chice. Mm-hmm. You understand? Stepper Chice was the next rising giant from Fui era, like basically. You understand? Big up to the little young sound, they may come up and do them thing. But, I can't go under them name there. Eh? Who else may I go see now? Tell me now. Just tell me a name now. We're bigger than a name there in Canada. Okay, but how about this now? Because as you said, it's just a sound clash is just a journey. There's mm-hmm. no one stop. So okay, yeah, you cycle through. But there must be a outcast one on one. A um never think about that never ever come to my mind. Yeah. You know what I mean? Maybe outcasts probably see themselves wanting to clash roots, man. Yeah. But I don't see myself wanting to clash outcasts. No disrespect to outcasts. Good, nice little sound, bad sound. You understand? But like me say, you go through the King Turbo, the Rebel Tone, Yanazan, the Black Reaction, 
the only thing left for me is I go back and crash them the sound. Okay. You understand? Like mm-hmm. we say, it's a recycle thing. Mm-hmm. You understand? Maybe a couple of years ago, I say, yo, you know, say Rootsman, they beat King Turbo. And when I see King Turbo and Roots clash, Rootsman clash, Ray, Ray, Ray. Just like oh, when um, Adiz and LP did finally clash after how much years, or Earth Rule and LP, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Them kind of something there. But there's nobody who me see right now in my mind say, me, wah, shoot after you. Mm-hmm. There's no sound, like, you know, like me say, if a clash come up and a man make a proposal with a good money, I may mean, I say, yeah, me work with the money, but me not have nobody in mind when me say, me want to kill. Mm-hmm. You understand? Okay, let's take it out of Canada then. Mm. Let's go to, um, put a pin on the globe, let's go to New York. Mm. Okay? How about Rootsman Soul Supreme one-on-one? That's a nice clash. That mm. would be a nice clash. You know what I mean? Mm. Like we're saying, me, oh my mind stay is business. You understand? Mm-hmm. That's a good clash. It's not like a clash where mother say, me want to clash Soul Supreme. Mm-hmm. If it happen, it happen. A man come to you, a promoter come to you and say, yo, me offer you X, Y, you Soul Supreme Roots, man. Why not? Mm-hmm. Soul Supreme is a sound with a, with a, who have an impact right now in the world. You understand? And people respect Soul Supreme and give them a lot of respect. And, it would be a good clash. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? With Rootsman and Soul Supreme because it's not like a little joke sound, a sound with dub and, you know what I mean? So, bad MC, GX a bad MC to me. Be, people might, so other sound man might not give him the respect, but I give him the respect as a bad MC. For sure, GX is crazy, boss. Very bad you MC. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? That's my opinion, mm-hmm. you know? Like, you know what I mean? People can say what they want to say about him, but... Bad MC, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Next bad MC, Ajax from New York, like them you would like. Bad, you know what I mean? Killer D, bad MC, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Even Kingpin, like me watch Kingpin over the years from Adiz and him grow. Mm-hmm. Very talented, Jimmy, Jimmy Scliff, like you know? Jimmy is a, is a MC where me, me rate, very intelligent, like very smart, no for talk, no for, you know what I mean? Yeah man. You know what? Let's get into that then. I got a couple more questions before I get you out of here. Let's get into that Young Hawk versus Roots, man. Mm-hmm. All right. That three, <clears throat> three round lock off. Mm-hmm. And remember, this time here, Young Hawk was killing everything too. It's not like Young Hawk was a little joke. Okay, we're going to run over him. This was the trophy man, Jamie. What happened that night? There? Remember, Jamie, leading up to that dance there, Jamie. I don't think lose a clash in Toronto in a five years or five clash he went straight back to back mm-hmm. in Toronto. So when Fat Cat called me and said, Young Hawk, I say, right away, I say yes, because <laughs> everybody wants to see mm-hmm. Young Hawk. Well, everybody wants to see. At this time, we now win a couple dance, because we did win the Montreal dance, then we did win against Nubi and thing, the back to back. It was a. Lots of back to back winning from Step of Chase right up to Rebel 2 and to, to King Turbo. So everybody wants to see Rootsman dead, mm-hmm. and then some people want to see Young Ark dead. Mm-hmm. You understand? Because people are saying, Yo, Young Ark never lose a clash in a Canada, so we need somebody to defend Canada and, and beat Young Ark. And then at the same time, they have like a million sound man. I say, Rootsman, go on like, so they are the man. Yo, them boy, they're dead and rare. Mm-hmm. Right. So the dance was just perfect for the two away. Because you had a lot of sound, sound man who want to see the two, two man them dead. Like, people say, yo, every time Young Hawk come here, yo, boy, you come here now, now give Young Hawk winnings. Re, 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 re. Mm-hmm. And then everybody I say, yo, Roots man, you want to go like Roots man, I got for Canada and re, re, you know, Roots man has a win this and that. Yo, about time we make Roots man lose. Mm-hmm. Me, me, personally, people call me and say, sound man, specifically, look and say, they have to make. Rootsman lose by any means possible. The dance there. You don't even know the thing where we go through the, mm-hmm. the dance if we win the dance there. Seeing car before me even go up on the stage, you know. I don't even play a song yet, I mean I walk toward the stage and I make your ears boo boo. I mean I say, oh, what this God? Mm-hmm. So we are saying I'm a head car. I say come like them money really come out for we lose. But you know them something there. We used to them something there, so them something there and like nothing to wake. Uh, when, we, when we were up on the stage, you know, it's like me and my zone, my comfort zone. That anybody who know me, 
Them know say when crash come, I don't mm. even smoke, I don't drink alcohol. Me and a water bottle for the whole night. I don't even want a man to hear me because I want to hear everything where a man has say, everything where a man has play. Zone in. Me zone in. Clash am my comfort zone. Me love clash. Like clash mm. is like, me build myself a my comfort that. Mm. Me and my yard. You understand? When that clash they start, man, I'm here. We have a first round and we have to do good. And then I think young art they play a bounty kill about um the Lord is my life, my salvation. Yes. And we come back and we start playing full bounty and say, Oh, before them seek God, mm. them seek mm. the devil. And we play a next bounty follow after that, say some say them a look, but them see me here, the sound man they start boo. I see them, I not even call them him, you see when <laughs> what people don't feel understand the sound man them. When you're up on stage, you can't see everything what's going on. And you can't see who are boo you from where. Because me, like me say, me is a youth. Eh? Me listen, mm-hmm. me observe. When me a crash. So me a pray them and them mm-hmm. a boo we and rare. Me see all of them. See? I me say, all right, we don't say nothing. Oh, we in the first round now, me I say, all right, we get the vote for the first round. And second round now, young are come in and the biggest mistake was I'm going to play the bottom and the top rhythm or rhythm. Yes. See, now you know, say, when the rhythm they turn on in Canada, roots, man, rhythm, that, you understand, no matter even if it's stone, man, mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. When the rhythm they turn on, it come like it baptize everybody. <laughs> <laughs> no matter how much you want, boo. Mm-hmm. <laughs> See? So it's like, when we drop the rhythm they turn on the rhythm, it's like a turning point, and them time then we just cut a bag of cable tan too. So it's like, we just say, yo, I roll out the profit, and we not even go. Now my mother go to Cabra way, cause you know Cabra my DJ, my favorite DJ that in the world. So I said, we well, now nah, go there, yeah. I go to the Prophet way, something different. Mm-hmm. Start roll out the Prophet, them and Prophet, them and get some forward after forward and very, and then we say, eh, and them with them time, man. <laughs> Just to seal up around there, you know, like I said, last five minutes, them yeah. count, <laughs> see, and we turn on the them, man. Whole place start turning over in a frenzy, man. I said, yo, we have him eat this and we win the next second round. And we said, yeah. You see, th- Jimmy come in and start struggling now, you know. Mm-hmm. Me and Big way up and I said, good round. And start. You know what that means right away. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Start struggling now and you don't know. Morning time, we sail up. <laughs> see? <laughs> Top of time. You know? We said, we are boss, I read him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> see? I read him then now, you know. We say, yeah, we link. Because we link all budge, you know. And we say, yo, yeah, we well, want well, to put the dub here away, you know. Well, big up my man name. Because I dub there. Mm-hmm. So we have a dub before, you know. But them not have it the way. Or we say we're going to cut it now. Big up Natty Brings and big up, you know. Certain man and man, you know. Mm-hmm. We're in the street and we people know, and you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. And the budget that when I fall with a drop, man. I hit that. <laughs> is what I say? Ranger turned to Jamie and said, Yo, you're not tapping out. <laughs> you're not tapping out yet. You're not tapping out. Well, the dance, eh? I kind of respect what Jamie do because as a big sound man, it take a lot for you stop. I dance and admit defeat. Mm-hmm. You understand? That was the second time in my sound clash career where a sound ever do that with we. Mm-hmm. You understand? And coming from Young Ark, remember in a Young Ark, I tour the world, Young Ark, I kill everything all over the world, Young Ark, no lose, no clash in Canada. So when Jamie stopped the dance and said, Yo, people, mm-hmm. Me tap out, me get a beat tonight. <laughs> <laughs> it just shut up all haters mm-hmm. because there's no way no a man can go say tomorrow or say young heart get rubber or ray ray. The man himself stop the dance. It's a history. Mm-hmm. The man will win five times straight in a Canada and lose no clash. Come and admit defeat. And stop the dance and tap out. I never forget all the next day, I wait for go up on the internet for hear what the man is going to say now in a car. <laughs> Normally, you would hear it. Oh, root man, and him back a friend, them buy us a dance and re. When I said, I don't even hear a man, big up roots, man. Mm-hmm. I said, congratulations. Re, 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 re. And I started saying, yo, I remember when all 
Soul Supreme and Super Fresh Clash and the next day you want to hear everybody I say yo big up Soul Supreme I no me care I must say one and two sound man must say big up Roots man mm-hmm. the rest of them <laughs> I don't hear not even a congratulation to Roots man or big up Roots man for your win or nothing I mean I say yo the people they love it but the hate is real against some of my sound man in Canada but you have to remember once you're trying to make it to the top mm-hmm. it's a different love you know when you're in that different stratosphere now, but, it's a whole different but way how the they deal is, with you. Me, as a MC or a sound man, you know, so I never once ate for a sound man or wish nothing bad for a sound man. I just want every sound man in Canada to do good. I never once go dance and tell a man, say, yo, we're not cheer for this sound man. You know? mm-hmm. Yo, wait, 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 wait. Make sure we are, make sure this, that. No. Me as a man, I want if you play mm-hmm. good, play good. Sometimes people used to say, you know, Roots man win dance because they're big and bag of crowd. And so I say, I wonder if we never listen to this song that Roots man play. Since we bring a bag of crowd and we have, mm-hmm. uh, remember, mm-hmm. you, know, you have fans, we have a cheer for you no matter what. Mm-hmm. Because over the years, we start from nobody to somebody. You understand? And we build up a fan club that you have a whole neighborhood of Falai Sound. You have a whole city of Falai Sound. You understand? Even people in the inner city, we got Montreal. I mean, never know so much mm-hmm. fans. Me have a Montreal. I got Vancouver. I'm shocked. Mm-hmm. You understand? Me never know so I saw roots man name bigger than when me even did a thing. You understand? And when me looking at them something there, me I say, why would you want to eat pan a, a sound where I do good, I build up them fan club and rare rare. The only thing if you do, you know, do the same thing. I do better than we. Me never once I try to put down a man sound. And I say, yo, wait, wait, them boy, they know if you win no dance. And yo, people love them sound too much. And yo, wait, me see sound of me help out. Cost me all the help on the internet. Young sound too. Mm-hmm. When me put them all on their first dance, nobody know where they make put them on their first dance. And I live to see them sound, they try style roots man sound. You understand? I mean, I say, but true me is a boy, I know, I follow up the internet. You understand? Me not entertain certain stupid arguments. Because mm-hmm. once me answer you know, me feel like say you're on the same level as me you now. And you, to me, me, like me say, me not this no man. But me put myself and me work hard for me, Roots Man Sound name there. Me not going to sit down there and entertain certain conversation with a man when we not put in a deal like what me do. Because mm-hmm. like me say, barbershop conversation different from the real work where you put in, you know? A man we say, yo, I'm cut a million dub and say my body's thing in the world. Mm-hmm. How many have the most dub and me have this? What have you done with it? How much sound have you killed? How much trophy has you collect? That's the biggest difference. It's not because now I don't think sounds are judged off of how many dubs they have because they're so accessible. Mm-hmm. It's based off of what you're doing with these dubs. Remember, uh, that same right. black cat had a handful of dubs one time. And we the most dance. You understand? You have a sound, sound man that we know come now. I mean, notice with them nowadays now. Mm-hmm. Them come now and them play a couple dub and them play for all five minutes because they play against five, six sound. So it look impressive. But behind after them play them five, two round, them two round their five minutes, mm-hmm. what them have after that? Mm-hmm. Some of them you that came and warm up a dance for an hour. Mm-hmm. Them came and play for two hour dub or three hour dub. No way. After half an hour or 20 minutes, them done. That's why I stop take them kind of clash there because sound look impressive. Mm-hmm. You know them like a five minute round, yeah, eight minute. Mm-hmm. And everybody has say, yo, but this thing, yo, yo, yeah, 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 yeah. Nothing of them now after that, no belly, no nothing. Mm-hmm. Them can't keep up with some new songs. So no, you know what you have all a million bad songs now get eliminated now because a man come play all a like a five minute round and eliminate you. That's why I stop taking them kind of dance there. You understand? A boy want clash roots, man, he must prove himself, same back solid all around. When me go to say gang salien, you better can follow. Mm-hmm. Or do better. When me say culture lien, keep up. When me say foundation, keep up even girls round. Try keep up with me. Or try play better than me. Out play me. Mm-hmm. For half an hour or hour. You better come great. It's all done on purpose. The whole how you got to where you got to wasn't by fluke. I just got here one day. This was done. This was a plan. Step by step. Like when we say step by step, practice behind the scene. Mm-hmm. Play a little basement dance, them, play a house party, play a barbecue, play a building party. Still we start playing a club. Mm-hmm. Step by step. 
seeing me never come in at this thing with no laptop or CD pouch. Dub plate. Seeing? When you see me dub plate, it's a arrows. It's a Calibi. It's a sniper. It's a this a studio. You understand? Mm hmm Sound we a studio dub this that. Them days that I come from. Mm-hmm. I a boy, see David, me and David get up and fly to Jamaica and cut the plate. Some sound man never do that in them life. They only know each answer. Yeah. Our Western Union. <coughs> you understand? <laughs> They've never had held a physical plate in their hand. Never it's just, it's just files that's coming to the email, mm-hmm. download and call Don't, it a day. That's it. Mm-hmm. So when someone attack of them mode, like I said, I've been there and done that. I mm-hmm. have nothing to prove. The only thing left for me doing my business is just maintain my sound. Mm-hmm. That's it. I build my sound to a household name in Canada. And out of Canada, the people them start to lots of love and respect because the work we put in over the years. And I just want to continue that and maintain it. You understand? I don't fight against no youth. I don't fight against no sound where I come from the same area as me because sometimes I look on it, you know, and... I see enough hate in a go on with the sound man where I come from, the same era as me. Because you have all a sound man with me and he probably all in a business before me. Mm-hmm. But what impact him doing in the business were better than me. And like him, the same man where I come from, the same era as you are in a business before you. I hate playing you now because I say, yo, I play music in Canada before Ranger or before Roots, man. Mm-hmm. And a them man, they do the hate in Panya because them no make an impact. Them no make a name for themselves, you know what I mean? What? You know what I mean? No, because me and you come from the same era, you have to, like me tell you, you, know, you have to put in your work. See? Because when me start this night, me tell you, say, my biggest thing was to put Canada upon the map because me used to cuss and I say, we have a bad sound name, but there's no audio. There's a million dance keeping in Canada, you know. Mm-hmm. But you know, I'm not hard here for sure. So no matter how much dance, yes, so why do you think the people world start no roots, man? Because I've heard you. You were always, when it came to a cassette, a CD or anything, you always had Every something. Every dance, me a tape. Me a run else nearly fall out because <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> when fully loaded a tape, me set up a little bit and sit now record my around mm-hmm. them. Mm-hmm. And sometimes, hey, mount a fully loaded me have before even run else release it. Mm-hmm. Me have the idea them. Mm-hmm. Till one night somebody rat out for me and say, yo, you know, say boy range around this. So. And I call him and rat out for me. <laughs> but me know say that man got tell her and time see me. Cause me used to come and dance him early and you know, set up mm-hmm. all my sitting right early. Mm-hmm. And make sure I start record. So every woman I go me home and tape with dance him, and, you know. So the boy can't come tell me about this and tell me about that. Me have my history, me have my audio, me have my video them, me have this, that. Me have my proof. Yeah. You understand? Even if me not put it out there, you yes or no, me can't say, yo, you remember that clash with me and Miller Vibes? See, you idea, you know? Have it. You understand? Me have them, me put them up, me save them. Mm-hmm. You understand? And at that, we feel a problem. We might play a million dance, but we do not record it. And especially in a time like this with technology, mm-hmm. everything with the man they do now is supposed to record and put out there. One time. Right away. You understand? Even like a feature thing, you send it out to the world right now based off of internet. So anything you put up on YouTube, the world has seen it. That's how Rootsman got big out there in the world. Was the audio. Because even, remember, at one time, when it from 96, I came into the business until about 2002, two, three, mm-hmm. we were still recording dances. But at that time there, when I record a dance, I go to New York, they don't want it. Mm-hmm. But it's like because now you had like a black cat mm-hmm. and a Desert Storm and Roots, man. Mm-hmm. Then they'll take it. That's how it started to really yeah, get out man. there. Until after a while, they started right. to say, no, people where's even Canada? Realize, eh, as little as a Sonia is when we start, you know, open whole heap of doors for Canada. You know? mm-hmm. Because people open me door, you know, but some of the man open me door and, you know, close it back. Mm-hmm. Because... We now get the respect out there. So when the audio them start going, you know, and the man them start hear the rhythm them, and I say, blood, you would have like a Sonia. Mm-hmm. Where does Sonia come from with them rhythm me and you would have you to him cut him dub them like Chupa or Rere or so. People start listening to Canadian sound more and more. Because you know. the only Canadian sound that did really out there tour like that, you know, or go out there from Canada was basically King Turbo. Mm-hmm. Like, when you, you talk about Canada, the first thing you go anywhere out of Canada here is a King Turbo. If you go, 
apart from him, King Turbo, you hear a little about Tasha Rose. Because mm-hmm. she now makes some little travel like Europe and them place there. That was it. But no matter who you hear, they a kick up and a go on and rare and the baddest thing over here. Nobody wasn't talking about them. No, because I remember when you would, the, the three audio songs and then after came around, the three that you would record and they would sound good mm-hmm. on audio. First was King Turbo, mm-hmm. Black Reaction, yep. Super Fresh. Mm-hmm. After that crop there became the Roots Mans and the Desert Storms. Klepto got to slide in a bit and studio mix. Mm. But the three monster audio, mm. King Turbo, King Turbo Black Super, Reaction, Black Super, Super Fresh. Fresh. Yeah. But you're right. The first one was always a King Turbo mm. when it came to out there. Oh, and then yeah. the freshers came in mm. and the reactions and everybody else came in after that. Yeah, man. Cause we know the newer era in the two to era. Because them mm-hmm. man, they the 90s era. Yeah, for sure. Roots man can kick off. Because when Crash did... Basically, they put a little stand mm-hmm. still. Mm-hmm. A Rootsman come open up the door for, 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 for Clash Market in Canada. Mm-hmm. When Rootsman start make an impact, it's like the whole thing change. Fan club start, you know? Because remember, and everybody, only, like me said, they only to talk about reaction and King Turbo. Mm-hmm. And then Rootsman come in now, and it was like a different era of music for Canada and sound clash. Mm-hmm. And I saw the old roots man start take it on a different level, like enough people out of Canada and say, yo, that sound had a rhythm. Cause what boss we out there in the world was the rhythms. Let's get into that. I have three questions, but that's mm-hmm. one of the things that I have two more after that. Mm-hmm. Name three of your favorite rhythms in your box. You gave me one already. Give me three other ones mm-hmm. that you will listen. These I love, 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 love these rhythms right here. All right, you see. Sit down on it, read them. One of my favorite. Cost them. Mm-hmm. Cost them. Cost them. Spraga bends anywhere that drop. Yes. Badness our way no a G in that scene. Roots man, no big friend. That read him the when that drop. Mm-hmm. And then you have a next read him. One scotch read him. Yes. Roots man read him that to again. Well, them they are my favorite read him. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. See? You know about them now at the top. <laughs> See him? That's that you. Oh, God, man. I, trust me, man. You have a catchphrase. Speech, tune, and rhythm. Yes, All right? Man. How did you even come up with that? You know, sir, I don't even know it come up with just, like me, as I say, if you be the baddest thing in our business, you have to have bad speech. You have to have tune. And you have to have rhythm. And it's just a natural fact where every sound man is supposed to adapt to. Mm-hmm. Best speech, best tune, and best rhythm. So we just say, yo, that's our motto. Speech, tune, and rhythm. You understand? Right across the globe, whenever you say Ranger Roots, man, any class you stand up in, it doesn't matter where, your opponent is going to say that to you. You know what I mean? Going All right. The first time I go to Italy, you know. Mm-hmm. It's so the first time I ever signed an autograph. And you see, when the youth see me, see Chucky there as my witness can tell you. Mm-hmm. The youth don't even know my name. Mm-hmm. Him know my face. And the first thing the man say, Yo, dear speech tune and rhythm. <laughs> <laughs> That's all the man say. And yeah. the man run up to his team. I think I put up that something there on Rootsman, Rootsman Instagram. I put mm-hmm. up that video. The man run up to his son and say, Yo, speech tune and rhythm. Could I get your autograph? First time you ever signed an autograph in my life. And the man don't even know my name. The youth don't even know him. He tell me that. Mm-hmm. And a speech tune and rhythm, the man called me. <laughs> man said, that, that's him right there. Speech tune and rhythm. Yes, boss. That's you. I remember when you came up with that. It's like, yo, this is wild. And when me a crash any I big sound them, the first thing the man said, some man with them bought them speech tune and rhythm. Man. Right, right. So, worldwide. Mm-hmm. Speech when I read him gone, like when we say gone, the whole world I say it. Someone try even say it and I can't say it right. Yeah. <laughs> but I wish that speech you. when I read him and everybody knows say yo, if you be the best, you have to have speech, tune and read him. Only makes sense. Makes sense. You know what I mean? The other next one tweet now say when a shot a tune. <laughs> Tall <a> tune. <laughs> 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 See? So no man has said that now to you, know? Yeah. Like, one man say, yo, when you take my back shot at you, <laughs> oh, that's true. Yes, bro. Crazy. Yeah, man. So. And a lot of those stuff is just 
spur of the moment, this just came up yeah, right man, here. Anything we do, we just natural in you know, Like we just set things natural. We not we, we not have to sit on and rehearse certain things. Yeah. Like we, you know what I mean? When you make speech and the moment, it speech just come to you natural. Like it just in you. Mm-hmm. You understand? It's not like say we are one of them so many are forced to try and make a speech and it not sound right. You understand? God. Some of these MC, I just threw this story, it's not a Ganji versus own. Yeah. I can't tell you who should be a MC and should not be a MC <laughs> because it's not all the way fit for Mm-mm. that position. Because some stuff for me here, some of this sound man, MC, I'm a, like I said, I'm a youth, I'm going to dance, I like to listen. Yeah. And I tell you say, some rubbish for me here from some of the selectors who feel like them is great or good. Absolute garbage. <laughs> like some of these people should not be a MC. You should yeah. go mix or just do some some something else. Call it a day. S- spending money behind the scenes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Two last questions I got for you. One dance and then a question, okay? Mm. One dance we brought it up earlier. We didn't get to go through, but I want to go through it now. Is the Roots Man, Lexa Supreme, and Mikey Crow. Mm-hmm. All right? That was in Lionsgate. I remember that. You tell me what you remember about that dancer. All right. That dancer. I dash the dance, because mm-hmm. we, are, we are beat Mighty Crown in a tune for tune. But all right, before we even reach this, uh, mm-hmm. the dance, uh, Mighty Crown, it was a big controversy dance because at that time, uh, I think Lexo Supreme cut a, what the artist's name? Conscience. Conscience. Mm-hmm. And it's like the man, them, go get the same song and counteract the song and play the man dub. And then play the counteraction. Cause Lexus and I say, yo, the artist them not rate your Jamaican Ray Ray and seeing so you would play a blood cleat conscience. The Lexus dub and I say, yo, you say nobody not rate me. And play the man dub on the man star with the man vice and spending money in the man. And then after I play the man dub, the man say, well, if, if artists not rate me, why the mother give my dub? <laughs> And then play the counteraction and very and that was the first in the history of Sound Clash that I could remember and where your opponent played your dub yeah, and then man. counteracted what they just played. I've yep. never heard the that before. The biggest disrespect me ever seen as sound thing, like, you know. <laughs> it caused a big problem to you know. And mm-hmm. me I tell you say, yo, mighty crown get a forward for that one day and mm-hmm. we end up did play a Lindo P a this up. Blacks and I remember say Linda P stand up with them, you know, Linda P and Blacks apart them time there, you know. So it was like the biggest forward for the night when we dropped the Linda P there and you know we we end up we get rid of Alexa Supreme out of the dance and we mm-hmm. might take on go tune for tune. Me dash for the dance, not tune for tune. Some T time and they may walk off our stage. Cause we start get some forward and the man they say, yo, we've been through this all the time and start balling and I say, yo. Every time, we should just make them walk out and go out and dance and take the victory. The man met, start feel sorry for him and the man said, I want to come back and play, man. I want to do, man. Turn out people and buy us and rare. He's up on the man, them. And, you know, that's where he for tune to them. Crazy, because I remember one of his big speeches back then was Lexus was spending the money, mm-hmm. but Roots Man had the, the talent. talent. Yeah, man, we have the talent, and but we don't have the money. Yeah, like Lexus. <laughs> yeah, man, I, and that was true. We mm-hmm. never have the money like Lexus, cause when we get our dub, them you know, like we tell you, you know, I did you them. I have to big up my team. Mm-hmm. See, I have to big up Kerchief, Beanie, Jigzy, Randy, mm-hmm. English. You understand? Even David Boy, you know. I have to big up the man there. From day one, the man there, and the man who invest in a roots man sound and spend the money behind the scene. Because sometimes when people see you, you know, they feel like uh, you would do everything. Mm-hmm. But you have people behind the scene where spend the money on the sound. You know what I mean? And the man there invest in a roots man sound. You know what I mean? And me I tell you, we might not reach, but we'll put a little money together. And... Cut with like a one one coco and you know, try to prepare yourself for a clash. You know what I mean? We kind of grow now and build relationship with the artists them over the years, so things kind of like a bit easier for us sometimes with certain artists, not every artist. You understand because artists change so much and certain artists are just stick out on yeah, what man. they stick out on. Yeah, man. Crazy, crazy ranger. This conversation has been crazy and there's still so much to talk about. Definitely. But this, this is my last one here for you. Yeah. 
2021, all right? This is where we are now. Mm -hmm. What's a direction that you really want to take Rootsman and you see Rootsman going, and even the whole clash scene and juggling scene from a Canadian perspective? All right. The direction of me, you want to take Rootsman. Let me be honest, more juggling date. Mm -hmm. Because I want to tell you this. When we just start out in the business, we come out as a clash zone. And it was so hard for us to break ourselves in the juggling market. Mm -hmm. You know, we end up, we end up, have to start, make some roots and culture CD. This is how we end up coming at the juggling market. We end up start, big up, Leighton, Love Jones. Mm -hmm. The first roots and culture CD we me make was Leighton who make it for me. You understand? So I have to big up Love Jones with a CD there. Mm -hmm. That CD did so much roots, man. We did, we end up do volume one, volume two, Love Jones with three of them for me. Mm -hmm. And nobody never want to book Rootsman Sound. They say Rootsman Sound, one bag of bad man, a fallai sound, Jane and Finch Sound, and you know that whole stigma there. We couldn't get a juggling date for save a life. So we end up say, mix seed, I'm going to start putting in some barbershop, some restaurant. We start put the mix seed in them in there and put the culture seed in them in every year salon and we start go, go and munch out, go give out the seed in them and sell them out there. And from the start, do that. Promoter just start call me. And I say, yo, juggling date for Rootsman Sound. Mm -hmm. Nobody would never book Rootsman Sound for a juggling date car. Mm -hmm. The whole stigma there, the whole gangster thing, and the whole clash thing, and the man, they not, they know if you juggle and they just swear. And from we start put out the CD, date them start coming, start mm -hmm. coming. You understand? It reach a point now that the juggling date, them start PFE, dub them. Seeing me, I said, this is a good look. 1,000%. I said, this is a good look because we always take money out of our pocket and I cut the plate. So now, the little juggling date, them start reach a level now that we are get more date now and more juggling now. And the sound basically end up a pay for itself. You understand? We might spend a little money out of our pocket, but now that big amount of money. You understand? More data come in, more data come in till, brother, all of a sudden, Rootsman turned one of the top juggling sound. Couldn't believe it. You understand? One of the top juggling sound mm. in Canada. We start getting peer juggling date now and still I do a little clash thing here and there. But we start build up a new set of fan club that we never in our life dream of. We start having girls them on our side now. We have a regular dance hall people, them and regular people. We see a restaurant every day. I support Rootsman Sound, a juggling dance now. And mm -hmm. The fan club just a grew and a grew. I mean, I tell you, it's unbelievable. Cause I mean, I tell you, before this whole pandemic start, I mm -hmm. can show you the amount of flyer where Rootsman Sound depend for As juggling. Juggling. Mm -hmm. When I say juggling, the sound book out almost every weekend, mm -hmm. juggling. Every week, from, sometime from Thursday, Go right down to Sunday. You understand? And it was so nice, you know? And I guess I really want to take it. Clash, like me say, I don't kill out myself for Clash at this moment. If a Clash come along and, like me say, we reach a stage where we don't have nothing to prove no more to no, no, no sound or nobody. We're not hungry for the name. The Rootsman name out there now. Mm -hmm. It's a brand. You understand? We build the name till it reach a household brand now, like we've. We do all kind of things now with the brands. We have a studio roots, you know what I mean? We have the clothes on them, something there, you know what I mean? So, we just promote the brand right now, you know what I mean? Like we said, Clash is just there. We're not time for Clash to Clash, but right now, focus on the juggling date, focus on more traveling, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And just recycle the whole thing. We just want more traveling date, more juggling date, because them something that pay for the sound and pay for the dub plate. No matter how much money, for, even if a promoter get 10 grand for your clash right now, you're going to use a 10 grand and cut dub. You're going to probably use 12,000 and go <laughs> cut dub. You still got to go find another two grand we and them go. Artists, uh, car, may I tell you, say, we're not even getting a certain thing with our interview. Uh, mm -hmm. We're not even reaching the topic about cutting dub and artist price and them something. Uh, mm -hmm. May I tell you, say, someone man put up with a lot of a crap in uh, this business. Some men are almost like the last on the list and sound man are the one pushing everything we out we get the least respect as a sound man and especially a sound sound man clash sound mm -hmm. 
don't get no respect from the artist. An artist will look on a radio, this Jackie, and give him 20, 30 songs free. Mm-hmm. Then give a sound man, we are spending money how much years with them. You understand? And don't realize the impact with sound man have on their career because sound man feed 90%. Or you can say 90%. 9% are artists. Because a few artists in Jamaica don't really depend on the plate. And the same artists they don't depend on the plate. And them me I run to sound man right now because no stage show now keep. And no record now sell. So the only people them I spend money with artists right now is sound man. Mm-hmm. So artists need to give respect. See? And sometimes they need to come down with the price too. Especially in other COVID time, yeah, mm-hmm. them need to have some kind of leniency towards sound man and stop with the bullshit because how we are feeding it. You think it's easy now if you work two weeks and I get all a thousand dollar, thousand dollar every two weeks or whatever, and then artists are telling you, say, yo, thousand dollar more for your song, you know. Yeah, two weeks where so you work so hard for you know, gone to an uh, artist to sing a song for two minutes. Sometimes he don't even sing it good. Sometimes he's half key. Sometimes they don't even inch your song good or big up. You, you understand? You take a whole of your money you know, where you work for, for two weeks. You understand? Because artists have realized this. Eh? Me can't say this because I don't even care if uh, artists want vex. Mm-hmm. Most of the man used to spend big money with the artists. They have some big jugs, man, from back in the days. Seeing who are not dead, they are prison. You understand? Have one and two people hustle nowadays. See, the only people them we keep up the little thing right now in a sound clash, I like a working man them. We are working them like a nine to five and true them love the music. Them go out of them way. Sometimes some of my man them can even pay them rent and take them rent money because them so love this thing called sound clash and dub plate. Them addicted to it. So then we squeeze all the money mm-hmm. and go mm-hmm. give artists them and they don't artists they don't appreciate that. There's no they don't give you back the same respect you're giving them. You you're happy the, to see them. You don't get the respect. You understand? Mm-hmm. Enough of them don't even r- love this thing. They just want to bleed the music mm-hmm. and bleed the sound man pocket them. You understand? Cause me live yo that we, we need to do a topic about that something yeah, with the artists mm-hmm. them and sound man. Yeah. Because artists will realize say. Eh, the youth them right now are all up them career and I feed some of them. And most of them, you understand? You know how much artists and music say, I boast you, I talk about, oh, this and that more for my song. And at them same money for a charge, $150 right now, and that big hmm. people say, yo, send out a dub work for me. Don't this the sound man them. Work with them, give them a reasonable price. You have a few when don't depend on sound man because they invest their money in other things or they have them rare way. Them can stick out. Mm-hmm. You understand? I mean, I tell you, I said, that topic you need to talk about because it's a serious topic. I tell you, boom. Because it hurt for no say, all right. You know, as a sound man, take up your toes and allow your work hard for. And you say, you're going to one clash now. And you go, give your artist a $1,000. You say, when you're reaching in a clash there, the first round you hear your thousand dollar song, gone! Mm. A man say, oh! You think me don't know you got voice a killer ya? First round it, gone! And when you go say no, ya, your heart nearly drop out now, you yes. say, just no star, my thousand dollar when I work mm. hard for. My song gone in a first round. Me can't even get the plate, plate, and I hit me pay for. Mm-hmm. And it's so expensive. It's not like, say, the artist they give you all a song for thousand dollar when no boy can't play. Because that the boy, the artist they need to start doing it. If I go pay a certain price for a song, nobody not supposed to pay it. Mm-hmm. If you go give me a song for $300 or $200 now, it's okay. Because you understand. You understand? Everybody can play it. But when you go give me a song where 50 sound can play now, you go charge me $1,500 or $1,000 up. That no fear. Mm-hmm. For my hard working money, and you just sit down and sing for one minute and a half, nearly two minutes. And get the whole of my hard working money. It not right, brother. It don't right. I know disrespect to some of my artists, them. Mm-hmm. You understand? Because some of the artists, them deserve the money. Because they put them heart and soul in the work with them I do for you. But you have for some sure. artists, they make all a mistake, the money even correct it. You understand? So me have to big up all Bunty, big up Luciana, Cabra, Caperton, the man they take pride in them work. Leroy Gibbons. When the man they are sit down in a studio, because man they want work with over the years, them man if they hear something that sound right, they might do it over. You understand? 
So I have to big up them artists there because them take pride. When I spend my money with them artists there, I get my money's worth. I can't say yes, the brother, the, the, the harmony sound good. Big up like Lucky D and singing melody on them man there. When the man they do dub for you, like the, 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 the yo, Malva and the man there, mm-hmm. the energy where the man they put in your song, brother. You say, you know, say it worth the money. Yeah? Then you have some artists now, want wow, this big money. I don't care if you sing punk key. If you take it off of their original rhythm, problems. Yeah, all of them are singing for the original rhythm, them still sound like crap. I can't make a year some dub plate when I have some big name artists. When I say big name artists, mm-hmm. we are charged this big expensive price and can't sing for key. See, when you hear them for 45, it sound good, but when they do a dub plate for you, sound like crap. You know how much I dub them and want to go grief on and get back my money? <laughs> <laughs> play them in a dance. Half key, you know, sound good. Yeah. And then you know, if you go to your artist and say, artist, you know, say that's, yeah, they do that song for me and it no sound too right. You can't do it. All. Oh, yo. No, I do that too over. You know, wait, 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 wait. See? Yeah, man. We need to talk about this. We need to yeah. talk about that part of our business. You know what? I'm glad that you even brought it up because somebody like you that's so knee deep in the sound class world, mm-hmm. where artists, Cutting dub plates is the lifeline of what you're doing when you're clashing. So clearly that is a topic, and I'm glad that you even brought it up. Definitely. And you man. said it's just, I guess, you know what? We'll probably put together a panel with some Salman. Definitely. And that's the, I think you that would be to the that. topic of conversation. Definitely. And you need to put the panel with Salman and the artist them at the same time, too, mm-hmm. because them need to understand where they might do mm-hmm. and, where, and where we are come from. Because mm-hmm. like I said, some of them do not respect the money where you spend with them. Mm-hmm. You understand? Them just want your money and them don't want to deliver. You understand? And sometimes I feel like they are overpriced. Price is on my them. And some of them don't deserve that money where they might charge. You understand? Me not take with nothing and try water down a man thing. You understand? Mm-hmm. But if me I work hard for my money now, I may spend my money with you and you charge me this arm and leg. Me expect the best. Come I work hard for my money. So you're supposed to give me the best of my money. When I go out there and present, cause there ain't an idea, you know. I hear a song I play out there, you know. When people hear and hear Rootsman play, hear a dub, they must say, Whoa, that dub they sound bad. That alone will make you get all more sales. More work. From, That's how it from, works. From my next sound, man. Take care of me, I'll take care of you, and we will continue when this beautiful When a man hear all your dub, no, I play all that crappy dub, but me as a man with own studio. Mm-hmm. I hear you, hear a song now sounds so crappy. I'm going to say, what kind of idiot dub that roots man I play for a big engineer and studio man? Them. Mm-hmm. You understand? And sometimes when you, them don't realize you get the song like, like that. And you can't even do nothing to fix it because them don't sing half key. So even if you try even fix it on the next rhythm or fix mm-hmm. it on the same rhythm, it not fit. You're talking about that. And a lot of times, I know at one time, they didn't want to split the songs. Ah, all right. <laughs> you know much of that me got through? You know much song when we have we mess up right now and we can get the split version because the artist same no want him song go the split because him fear because people are splice them song because that's all right some of the artists them need to know this the reason why someone want to get these sound man a splice in a song mm-hmm. on a overprice look where i'm too busy remember i'm busy a youth by car and house what i'm busy you know <laughs> i'm busy have a company and do video, I say, yo, any sound man who I'm busy, link me on this number. This is a real busy yeah. signal. That's how crazy it got after That's attack. so bad it was. Cause people are splice killer. People are splice bujo. People are splice the whole like big name artist because sometimes the artist them overprice themselves. And you don't know you have to look a hungry belly man who said them a linky. I go, go, go so and say, when you send the money in him, no, him can't get him now no link with killer. Him now no link with bujo. <laughs> but... With the money now, him mm-hmm. not send back your money in and tell you, say, hey, hey, I'm going to go around the corner and go fix up a thing. Because when him go to Buja now, before him reach Buja, he'll pinch a thing for himself. See him? So when him go to Buja, Buja will say, yo, yo, this is what I want. You know? mm-hmm. I say, blood, create me, I can't get Buja this little money. I don't pinch him money already. And hey, hey. Him can't call me back now and go say, yo, mm-hmm. you know, say, Buja want this month. Me, I go tell him, say, I don't pay no more you know, because this will tell me already. You know? Try asking back for your money. Get? <laughs> get? Yo, when he reach a stadium, he just try to say, yo, get, get two phone years and artists to me. 
<laughs> Boss, yeah. you try. I need somebody to tell me if they've ever received a Western Union from Jamaica. Never. Me never send a money and get it back. Boss. The more that time, how much money me lose, I send money. God, Jamaica. Man tell me story, say, yeah, what you are broke down and, mm. you know, say the artist, I say, I want an extra thing for it and, where, where, you know, me have to pay the taxi man and, you know, me have to do this. And. Sometimes the man, right beside the artist, man tell you, say, you know, say, where, where. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you six million <laughs> You know, so something we go through when we send mm-hmm. money. And sometimes you send all the money, you hear all a different attitude. Them reach altitude now. Mm-hmm. Yo, my youth, you can't wait. Yo, the artist are here, 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 here. And I give you all some attitude when you send your money. And this is after the money, you know. Mm-hmm. You see when you're, you're, you're putting together a Senate? Yo, the money call you six million times. Want me, the artist ready for work, you know. Mm-hmm. Want me, you not send the money yet. Yo, the artist, they have my foot right now. And when you send the money now, you know, you're all the man for all two, three days. You say, what are going on? Yeah, you know, the killer never in advice to do nothing tonight. So, he just say, yo, tomorrow. <laughs> and when tomorrow go in, I hear money that I go down, lick, 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 and man, and you out your money, you know. You know, say, I have to take taxi, go up there, and <gasps> rare, rare, and the taxi, rare, rare. You know, say, you carry the broke down. You hear a million story. Yo, send back a next 50 or send a, send a hundred dollar pound or something, you know, because, you know, say, engineer, I say, rare, rare, rare. <laughs> It's so wild. The stories when Red. you're cutting dubs, boss. It's it's crazy. As you said, this is a crazy topic to Trust itself. Me. But listen, <laughs> this conversation <laughs> has been a crazy conversation. Ranger, thank you yeah, so, man. so, 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 so very much yeah, for sitting down and doing this. Because Definitely. again, you don't really get to hear from Ranger outside of being on a stage. You know what I mean? You don't really sit down and talk what's in your mind but right now I think was the right time to really yeah, make man. this happen before I get you out of here any leave any contact information or any big ups any shout out anything right now the floor is yours 100% alright first of all big up Father God mm-hmm. big up my kids them. Mm-hmm. after that don't know big up my wife Shana big up yourself seen big up my entire team mm-hmm. big up sharpshooter big up raggy Big up Danger, big up Randy, big up Kerchief, big up Jigsy, big up Beanie, big up English, big up Stallion. You understand? Rootsman team, that Rootsman family. So I have to big up the whole of the man name. You understand? Man them did it with me from day one till now. You understand? You have many people come and go, but some remain. You understand? And big up all I selected them will play a, a impact in a rootsman sound from the past. You understand who come and go? Big them up same way, you know what I mean? You don't know you can link with you know. My number out there, six four seven five three four two three five five. Anytime you want to book Rootsman Sound, you can contact me. You don't know we have a studio now in a studio roots. So anytime you have them want to do any studio works, link with. You understand, car? There's something different from what they do. Just do their work in the meantime, you know? From what they we have a whole. Any artist you want in Canada, you don't know Randy have him thing, um, Dub Zaros, mm-hmm. when Vice Dub played for sound man them too. I even link me same way too, car. We have a link. We can get to the real Dub them, car. We have some of the artists, them. Not every artist, you understand? We can tell you who we and them link good. Well, we and them are friend personally, like, you know? Because I see a lot of youth, them get robbed. And a lot of sound man get fake song, so. When you want a real thing, you link with uh, we have a couple of the artists them have a good relationship. If you can get to the artists them anywhere, you can link us. See? Are you guys on Instagram or Facebook or anything? Link with our roots man, Canada man. Uh, Ranger Ranger Roots man on Instagram, you don't know. Facebook Roots Man Canada CM we you know what I mean? Instagram Roots Man Canada. We're out there. Yeah you know I mean we're 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 out there. So can contact us. Out there without fear. You see it. In a shot or two. <laughs> you tall at you. Spades tune and ready, I must say. Ranger, <laughs> epic conversation. Yeah, As man. I told you before, my door is always open because you know we still have so much more Definitely. to talk about. But this right here was a good base yeah, man. to start and yeah. then we move forward. You Definitely. answered the tough questions and you didn't shy away. You mm-hmm. were very open. That's what they're going to like and I respect that 100%. Yeah, man. Man, I respect every you time. Ranger, let me give you an Outro and get you out of here because this, <laughs> this, this was 
crazy. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is Muscle, and this has been another Two Line Music Cuts Entertainment Report podcast, and we are out. This podcast is brought to you by www.twolinedmusicut.com.